Today we are fortunate to have Clint Warren Davy, designer of Werewolf, Insurgency in Occupied Germany, 1945 to 1948. He's going to walk us through an example of play, and if you like coin games, you're going to want to check this one out here today on Legendary Tactics. Um, yeah, look, I'll, I'll give you the, just the very, very basics of it. So the, the cards determine the sequence of play, and the cards have events on them. When it's your turn, you're either going to be playing a card for the event or using an action and a special action. Every faction has their own victory condition. The victory conditions are kept track of at the top on the edge track. The, you're all trying to reach a different number. Basically, the allies are trying to get support or loyalty among the population, um, so they're trying to make the people like them. That That is an expensive um, thing they have to do with reconstruction. The Soviets are trying to get control and loyalty. Um, the Allies and the Soviets are also trying to get the research tokens. So whoever has more research tokens gets an advantage in victory points as well between the two of them. They're in an arms race. Edelweiss only care about control of population plus their number of bases. Werewolf cares about resistance total plus their number of bases. So that's the, the victory conditions guide the action. If you know your victory condition, you know what you sort of need to be aiming for. And the actions... Um, each action tells you its purpose. So it's, it'll tell you that whether it's to place troops or to shift the population one way or the other or to attack the enemy or, or whatever. And being a coin game, there's not if you're an insurgent player, you're not going to go and attack the enemy very often. You're going to mostly be um, moving, recruiting, or using terror. Um, and likewise, the Allies and the Soviets are not going to be spending all of their time just attacking the insurgents. They're going to have to bring on more troops, build up loyalty, um, they're going to have to move around and take control of cities, uh, all that kind of stuff. But, yeah, if if you guide your action by your victory conditions, that'll cut out a lot of um, uncertainty. Mm-hmm. And what would be the way to influence the resistance as the werewolf? Terror. Terror is the way to go. Okay. Yeah, and you, you need to have Terror an underground down. gorilla. Yeah, so in all of your lying down black uh, gorillas... Yes. Uh, they're lying down, they're underground, and then when you flip them upright, so you like you click on the piece, right click, um, and go switch to active, um, okay. then it goes upright. And if it's active, it can be targeted by the enemy. If it's underground, it can't be, usually. Okay. And why would so, I want it active? Uh, it'll activate when you use terror and oh, also when okay. you attack. Yeah, and yeah. the enemy will often activate it by um, using a search action or a patrol or the Soviets can use interrogate. There's a few other ways to do it. But generally, you're, when your guerrillas are underground, they're the most dangerous because they have the option to do lots of different actions. Right. Okay. Yeah. Um, just very so, quickly, uh, Clint, just a quick bookkeeping thing. Are these like this, uh, the HE and so forth, is that supposed to be placed with the troop? No. The so no. There's, in some cases it is, but all the research tokens on the map are neutral. They are, they are uncontrolled at the start. So there's six research tokens scattered around the map and two HE tokens on the map as well that are uncontrolled at the start. The first player to do any action in that space can use one of their pieces to pick it up. So that would guide your first turn um, thinking as well. The research tokens are very valuable. Every faction wants them. Um, You know, the werewolves will start with 10 resources. If they can get a research token, hold it till the the end of the round, the crisis round, they they can sell it for four resources. So that's a big boost to their budget. Yeah. They can also use it for their Wunderwaffen strikes, which is their like using experimental weapons. And the Allies and the Soviets need them for straight up victory points. Yeah. So they are very much worth grabbing early and on. And the HE if, is heavy equipment, which is yeah, like heavy tanks equipment. and yeah, yeah. So you imagine that as like sort of salvageable piles of Shermans and Panthers and um, artillery pieces and mortars and machine guns and stuff that you, your men can pick up. And it makes yeah. them far more effective uh, attack. And if for the Allies and the Soviets, better at assault. And for the Soviets, also they're bombard. Yeah. And they don't belong to anybody. They're like the research and the HE is neutral to begin with. Yes. Uh, the Soviets <laughs> and the Allies do control some HE tokens. So in um, East and West Berlin, you'll see there's some Allied and Soviet troop cubes that are sitting on HE. And also in province Saxon-Anhalt, which is like the middle of East Germany, there's some Allied and Soviet troops with HE. But aside from oh. those, all the other research and HE tokens. The research are is all there for the taking. The research is all up for grabs. And the, yes, so the, the early game is going to be like you, you want to build up towards your victory conditions, but you also have the research tokens as a little side mission that you might want to be doing. Okay. You know, if, 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 how, if, important, if, how important are the research, uh, Clint? 
Uh, well, for the Allies and the Soviets, it, once you get it back home to, like, it, when you you can send your research home by um, using an airlift for the Allies or a transport for the Soviets, and it'll also go back home after the crisis round. Whoever has more, the, the difference between the research tokens is um, straight up victory points. So if the Allies have four of them and the Soviets have zero, the Allies are at plus four victory points. Okay, so it's so important. It's C-Pack. important, but it's going to almost like a tug of war then with yeah. the research. Yes. That's okay. right, yeah. And so the, the, imagine, yeah, the Allies and the Soviets are using them for an arms race. The insurgents are using them for cash or as weapons. So they're valuable to every faction. In a I, I'm just looking at the first two card events that are, we're about to like uh, work through, and they yeah. both involve research tokens. So that's why I'm I'm weighing, you yes. know, is it is it worth taking, you know, special ops and action, or is it worth it to get those research down? But Yeah, that's a, that's a great question. So if you're going first, the werewolf player is going first, which is Flash, yeah. and... He has the option, if he plays the event, he's going to get one research token. Um, but because it's the first turn of the game, there are six research tokens up for grabs. If he yeah. can use a combination of actions and special actions to grab more of them, that's probably better. That's what I would do. Okay, mm-hmm. even though even though that's his event, right. That's right, yeah, but he, he just goes first. He can he can play yeah. the event or he can play an action. And then if he right. doesn't play the event, gives that gives another player the option to play the event if they want to. Right. Yeah. So and when I, when I recruit... Uh, am I? How do I know how many units I can place, and where can I place them? Okay, so real simple. What you recruit in any number of spaces that you um, want to, it has to be a space that's neutral or has resistance. Um, okay. And when you recruit, you pay one resource per space. You place one gorilla. If there's a base there, you place two. Okay. And you've got three bases on the map. So there's three werewolf bases, and there's two Edelweiss bases. The oh, discs. geez. And I always start, Edelweiss starts with five resources. Wow. Yes. <laughs> yes. Talk about, talk about a really good time. down here, Clint. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> five. NATO starts with 30. <laughs> no, yeah, Cax, Cax hates to play with low resources. I do not. I game. like my... <laughs> We're, like we're trying to keep it simple for you, Cax, so you only yeah. have five things to think about. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Put on your hands. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Well, if um, if Flash, if you okay. want to have your turn, yeah, um, Flash, give her a go. Yeah, okay. Flash, I, I'd love to see you go, Flash. Come on, <laughs> <Just fucking roll>. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> well, I I think it would be wise to play my first faction action. Uh, okay. We'll get the uh, the special action as well. Uh, I'd really like to target. I want to get some research and do something else. So uh, to get the research, is that? Uh, well, you've got a couple exactly. of ways you could do it. Um, if you recruit in a lot of these neutral places like um, North North Rhine-Westphalia, or I'll, I'll use the German because that's what the map is. So Nord Rhine-Westphalen okay. um, and rhineland Pfalz and Niedersachsen, um, you'll get a HE there. You can't recruit in anywhere in East Germany. So the sort of red places where the Soviets are because they're all Soviet loyalty. So kind of ignore that for now. Okay. Where you want to be focusing on is the research tokens in West Germany. So... You can grab three of them very, very easily, and you yeah, can also brilliant. grab some HE tokens. So, yeah. what I would, what I'd recommend is if you go um, recruit and do recruit in Württemberg, Baden, where you already have a base, then I can add, be, add additional gorillas. That's right. Yeah, you get two there's gorillas a base there. You can have two, right? Yep, that's right. That's and right. And then I'd okay. also recruit in um, just going up the side of the map to the west, Rhineland, Pfalz, and Nordrhein Westfalen. Yeah. Yes, and then keep going and go Nieder Saxon as well, and then you're going to grab a total of three research and a HE. Ooh, boy, you have Cax, another five have guys on the map. That that's brilliant. That Cax, is. Yeah. We're going to have to work that's together like to take to do. him down. He's getting Flash. Yes. That was yeah. very well played, Flash. I don't know. Well, why I could have done better myself. <laughs> <laughs> for anybody watching it, there, uh, uh, this is basically my first attempt at a coin game. So uh, <laughs> please, uh, please do put up with. Uh, my inexperience but uh, it's it's cool to jump in and try this i love i love the asynchronicity of the game so and this is coin like correct clint yeah coin inspired we, we say coin inspired but um it's also like you could say coin light because um it's not as complicated as the other coin games you know in some ways yeah that's so, good to hear for me yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. like a cuba libre as opposed to a fire in the lake yeah Okay, okay, so uh, yeah, so Flash, drag two of your gorillas from your available forces. Yeah, into got a couple there. You're gonna have to pronounce these, Clint. Württemberg, Baden. Oh, uh, yeah, Wurt- Württemberg, Baden. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And one of your guys, Flash, put him on top of the research to grab it because you've done an action in that space. You're the oh, first wonderful. one. You can, just yep, claim so just that. Gorilla, yep, and oh, you've claimed boy. it. Okay, so then yeah. I'll, I'll I can only do one in the Rhineland fault. Yeah, but you yeah, yes, you place you don't have a new base. guy there. Yeah, you don't have a base. 
So yeah. You, okay. Yeah, and then I can place you, one you. in Nordheim, Westfallen. Yep. Yep. Grab that research, and then I can do one up in the HE. Yep. Nita Saxon. In Nita Saxon, and is that and my, so? That was the recruit action. What was my special action? Well, you can choose you can from choose a one. wound of often strike, or you can choose from um, capture or assassinate. Mm. Ooh, so you've okay. got three choices. Yeah. Um, well, assassinate. It's really cool. That's just if you've got an underground gorilla um, and you can do it in two spaces. Yep. You've got an underground gorilla in a space. You just kill one enemy piece, which is always handy. Uh, you've also got capture, which is you have to activate gorillas in up to three spaces. Every gorilla you activate is going to give you another resource, like your money, mm -hmm. and also let you steal a research or a HE in that space. Uh, and then your final option is the wound of often strike where you um, spend a research token you're going to kill D6 worth of troops in an adjacent space and also shift that space towards neutral in terms of the population loyalty. Okay. So, so I, all, all three of them are great options. So it's it's up to you if you want more money or if you want to kill a, a potentially high number of enemy troops or reliably kill a small number of enemy troops. Right, yeah. How do I gain that HE in uh, Bayern? Bayern Munich? <laughs> yeah, well, you could... Um, you could do another recruit there if you wanted to and whack another two guys down. I'll just charge you another resource for that. Or you can do a capture special as your special action. You can do that in three spaces, but you will have to activate guys when you do it. And if you do it in uh, Bayern, you will be able to take the HE there. Wonderful. Yeah. So I'll do that. I'll capture. We'll do one yep, there. So that guy, yep. That guy has to be activated. Okay. So we'll right click. Uh, what is this? Change label T. No, or, no. Oh, switch uh, active underground. There we go. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Okay. We'll activate him. Um, now, Cax, it feels like you're down here, so I'm not going to hit you. Uh, looks like <laughs> Nate has a ton of resources, and he's the allied forces. So uh, <laughs> where can I target him? Is this uh, Nordheim Westfallen? Am I able to target there? Uh, well, you're doing a capture action, so you're not really targeting him. You're just getting money. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, yeah. So you, you you just activate a gorilla there and get the dollar. I wouldn't do it there though because you're sitting on the research, and once right. you activate, he has the chance to assault your gorilla and kill it and take the research off him. That's right. So okay. with your with your capture, so you probably want to do it elsewhere. Just do it. Um, I'll, I'll do one in Hessen. Yeah, do it any anywhere really. That sounds yeah. good. And then I can do a third one down in uh, Wurmberg, Wurttemberg. Yep. Okay. Nice. Yep. And I'm adjusting your money as well. So. Thank you for that. Appreciate it. So that was that's only right. so net, that was only net one resource for all those actions. That's right. That's right. Yep. Yeah. Very efficient. Yeah, you're in a good you must be jealous. I hope you're you're as frugal as uh, the werewolf uh, Edelweiss. I'm going to pass. <laughs> oh, okay. so I, I will also I will also net one resource. <laughs> yeah, got it. <laughs> uh, now, now Clint, thematically, one thing I really like knowing is why I'm doing what I'm doing. So, uh, I believe this is an alternate history insurgency, and the werewolf are essentially Nazi soldiers who are um, fighting against the occupiers of, of the town. Yes, is that correct? Of the that's city? right. So, you're basically SS and Hitler Youth fanatics, as well as the um, ordinary German civilians who have joined them. And you are trying to, yeah, you're going to try to resist the occupiers and maybe and try and get them to eventually leave Germany by turning Germany into this like quagmire insurgency. So it's like you're, you're trying to turn Germany into something like Vietnam that just drags on and on. And the population is never on the side of the Americans or the Russians. And you're willing to use terror or any other means at your disposal to do that. So and that's what you're trying to get the population in a big Nazi uprising. OK. And this didn't happen in real life, correct? It, it didn't happen to this extent, like what you're seeing on this map. It didn't happen this much, but it did happen. It okay. did exist. Yeah. So they, they hunted down the last of the werewolves in about 1947, 1948. Hmm. Yeah. And it, who does Cax represent thematically? What's his... Um, uh, so that's a bit more here. alternate history. So the Edelweiss faction are these Prussian aristocrats um, and anti-Nazi, anti-communist um, Germans combination of the Abwehr intelligence services, the Brandenburger division, um, veterans of the Eastern Front and ordinary civilians who have sided with them in this insurgency. And they hate the Nazis and they hate the Soviets. They're be just barely willing to work with the Allies in some cases, but they also want the Allies gone. And they basically want to return Germany to its um, pre-World War I um, glory, political glory. model. So they, they're, they're like the old Prussian Junkers 
they're like pro Kaiser. Some of them are. Kaiser, yes. uh, they're not. They're not based on exactly one real historical phenomenon. They're emerging of several different ones. But if you imagine like uh, von Stauffenberg and the guys in the Black Orchestra who tried to assassinate Hitler, mm -hmm. they're all these real old school conservative um, Prussian officers who thought that the Nazis um, were just ruining the country and they wanted to take control back. Hmm. So, now, Clint, are we out of touch though? Is that that's, is that a problem? You know, <laughs> it's yeah. been uh, so many years since our, our our glory days, right? Are we? <laughs> we gotta. Yeah, yeah, that's we, right. Um, down, right, I gotta really. We gotta we gotta bring back the glory. You gotta that's remind right, people right. who you are that's and why you're right. there. Who you that's used right. to? Yeah, be. but the, the, the advantage I, I, you've got I, is that um, you don't care about the population's loyalty as much because you're like these. Um, you're aloof from democracy, and you don't care what the people think. You're just trying to be seen as the legitimate government of Germany. So you don't worry about the, what the population thinks. You just worry about control. You Sounds just like most politicians the these days. I love yeah, it. Well, they, I love it. Yeah. All right. Cool. <laughs> Thank you for that, Clint. Yes. Yeah, that's right. Um, so you guys have gone. So we had Will Van Yep. Soviets are up next. So I can do the event or I can pass or I can negotiate. And there's no point in me negotiating because Cold War tensions are still at one. So okay. at this stage... NATO and me are friendly with each other and we can move through each other if need be. Um, when those tensions go up, we won't be able to do that anymore. Uh, we, or we have to waste time negotiating. I am actually going to pass as well because I don't care for that event. It's not that powerful for me. So I'm going to pass and I'm going to get my three resources. Oh, three. And passing gives you an advantage in the next round, does it? Is that why you would do that? Uh, yeah, it keeps you eligible. So yeah. because the werewolves have done an action, they are not going to be able to do anything next turn. Okay. Clint, I, I assume I get one resource, right? I assumed one? Yeah. Yep, that's okay. correct. Yep. Correct. Yeah. Nice, nice. Okay, good. Yeah, which is similar to coin. The government right. factions always get three and in the, in the insurgents yep. get one, right? It, uh, yeah. So, um, geez. So I have the joy of either doing the event or um, a limited action, which doesn't do very much for me. Or a pass, NATO. You would. Uh, or I could pass. You'd be um, guaranteed a kick at the can next round. Now, if I place, if I place uh, a research token, is that sort of anywhere then? And can I put that yes. under my control or no? Yes, that's right. <clears throat> so, hmm. Well, you know what? I'm going to take the event then because you guys are going to probably take the. So, um, yeah, where do I get the research tokens from? Is there? Oh, yeah. So go at the top to where you get all. So it says show slash hide counters. It's got the werewolf. Like it's got a picture yep. of a wolf. And it's got the four factions. You might have to like enlarge your little top bit to see it. Oh, um, there we are. Okay. Yeah. And then you've got markers, tokens, faction blocks. So if you go markers, game markers, I think it's in there. Let me have oh, are there re resources? No, hang on. Oh, game markers. Oh, yep. there we are. Okay, yep. Yeah, so then you've got your terror markers, blockade, oh, research. Or, yeah, so there's okay. lots of them. There's lots of markers, but they're all up. Now, am I better off putting this somewhere in, say, West Berlin because it's safer with all the troops hanging around? Yes, okay. except there is one werewolf gorilla in West Berlin. Oh, you yeah. sneaky guy. Look at this. Yeah, He's yeah. Hiding there. So early on in the game, West <laughs> Berlin is not entirely safe. Um, okay. So I, the safest place you've got anywhere on the map is probably Bonn or Hamburg. Yeah, I was going to say Hamburg. Yeah, and then you can place a troop or a police on top of it. Yeah. Uh, pro yep. uh, actually, I might do the police. Yep. Well, I was hoping to play spoiler today, and I feel like I'm, I've been effective at that so far. <laughs> just, just to muck NATO up. <laughs> okay, so we are ineligible. That's right, yep. And then Soviets and Edelweiss are eligible. And then we go okay. to the next card, and we get another card out. That's the card up now, and the new one will be. Oh, Paper Panthers is gone. Yeah, Paper Panthers is gone. So sorry, oh, there's a few of us doing the same thing here. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, I'll just grab another one. So yeah, there we go. So Werner Braun, von Braun is the current card, and then Agit Prop is the next card. Oh boy. Yeah. So the Soviets have a tough. If they want that event, they're going to have to pass again. Yeah, and I, oh. I do like that event. Oh boy. oh, boy. But uh, yeah. I don't know. If it's worth it. I'll, see, I'll see what Cax does. Ooh, danger is starting to fall behind slowly. So uh, I'm debating if I should do um, a special, uh, an op and special here. Yeah. If, I if you were I saying you that, the, yeah, okay. Well, the Soviets I mean, are probably going to pass anyway. 
So take maybe, care. yeah, maybe. <laughs> we'll see what he does. Maybe. <laughs> All so, depends on you, Cax. So, yeah. uh, Clint, like, would it like a recruit? A recruit yeah. And, and yeah, early like, on, that's what you want to be doing for sure. Getting getting some boots on the ground, right? Yeah. Yep. Uh, am I able to recruit in neutral spaces? Yes. Yes. Yep. Neutral or passive resistance. Okay, so if it's active resistance, they're like fanatical Nazis and they don't like you as much, but neutral and passive resistance, those are the spaces you can recruit in, okay. which for you, so it's, it's the most of the map in the, the West and in the South. Yeah, I was just, just looking around now to see, yeah, it seems like, um, I mean, even in Thuring, Thuringren here, um, yep. I could yeah, recruit Turingen. there. Uh, uh, well, you can't, you can't recruit there because there's Soviet loyalty, so... If you look oh, okay. at allied or Soviet loyalty, no insurgents can recruit there. Okay, so that's all out. Okay, so that is yep. in the east. Okay, that's no good. So, Cax, you know in the in the coin games how you have, like, support, active support or whatever? This support can be either Soviet or allied. So there's yes. actually two types of support in this. Oh, world. okay, right. Yeah, <laughs> I should have explained that too, actually. Yeah, yeah, and they are mutually exclusive. So, yeah, they they do different things. They give victory points to one faction, not the other. Um, but they yeah. still block the insurgents. Okay. So you, yeah, you basically East Germany is entirely off limits to you at this stage. Now, if you okay. wanted to open up East Germany to be able to recruit in it, you'd have to do some terror first. You could do terror all throughout where you've got guerrillas, and that yep. would allow you to recruit there later. But oh, because it would lower the it would lower the um, it would, yeah it would the, make the, it neutral. The, the neutral. But then you're making a big enemy out of me. Because you're yeah, it's a, it's a, a lot of my victory yeah. points. He's Clint, a big quite teddy frankly, bear. You're the, you're, you're the creator, Clint, scared. so I'm going to... I got your back, Cax. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be little... launching terror. Yeah. Yeah. I'll warn you guys, I'm pretty good at this. I've played it a few times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but there's three of us. <laughs> thought maybe, yeah, that's right. I, thought, I thought maybe you might have, Clint. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I, Clint, I wouldn't recommend... Pissing yeah. me off straight away. So. <laughs> no, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let that. I'm gonna let that marinate for a little bit. Um, but yeah. what about the uh, what about the north and the south, Clint? Like going down to Sudbaden. Yep, uh, good down spot. In there. So they're mountainous. They're Sudbaden and Württemberg Hohenzollern. They're both yeah. mountainous. Places, so they're really good for Edelweiss. You like the mountains? It keeps you a bit okay. safer. So, so I can yeah, drop. You, uh, I can drop one in each there. We can. Yep, we can be I'll, friends. I'll, down I'll there. adjust your money down. Okay. Uh, that's two dot two, uh, and then I'm, I'm guessing I could also go up in the north to uh, Schleswig Holstein. Holstein, yes, okay, which will give you control because no one else has that's anything right. there. That's right. So that's if you I whack a guy there and whack down one of your control markers, uh, markers control. So that's at the top. Um, yep. Yeah, Edelweiss control, got her. Edelweiss yes. control, yeah. And once we put a control marker down, guys, if we just right click on it, it can change to we can just change it to different control. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you can Control. scroll through. So in looking at the victory conditions, I was really struck with Idlevice seems like that's a tough bar to get to, you know, because you've got six bases and you have to have the essentially 19 population under your control with only yes, a but um, the way, like how does that if work? Edelweiss wins, um, yeah, you're not gonna get an instant win with them. They they do win like quite often. They were actually almost powerful yeah. action early on in the game. But um, the, the way you win with them is by having a better... There's two ways you win with them. You have a better margin than the other players, so you're closer yeah. to your victory condition than the others. Um, Edelweiss can hurt the other three factions more than anyone else. So they're, they're like a balancer. They can they, Their terror actions shift a population straight to neutral, even if yeah, it's active. Wow. So yeah, they can okay. wipe out allied Soviet and werewolf victory points extremely quickly. <laughs> So um, you you want to get to a situation where you you're slightly closer to your victory margin than them, um, mm -hmm. or you have the option of using your false flag attacks to push Cold War tensions up. And if Cold War tensions are at six, which is war imminent, and we have a crisis card come out, the Allies and the Soviets both lose because they trigger World War Three. And oh, then geez. if Edelweiss have more point, uh, if Edelweiss are closer to their victory margin than Werewolf, then they win. That's a, oh, that's... so it's a timing thing for uh, Edelweiss. Yeah, here, I was yeah. I was going after Flash and Clint. Now my target is Cass. has changed. Mm. Uh, the bullseye. <laughs> uh, so what you want to uh, do, Cass, is, um, you want to recruit in some other places too, like get some more guys out there because you can to get your money back. You can use extort, which is that's just what I was just going to ask about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, so okay. You... okay, so maybe put guys in in bases then, a few bases. Yeah, now you unfortunately you can't because your two bases are on Soviet soil where there's um, Soviet loyalty. Okay. So you can't recruit in your bases yet. Um, but if you, you've got plenty of other provinces in the West that you can recruit in. Uh, like if you maybe, launch, maybe the Rhineland? 
if you launch some terror yes. there in a future turn, you could get in there, Cax. Yep. Yes, that <laughs> is true. You yep, can try that it. That is true. <laughs> that is true. Uh, what what about um, uh, uh, sh- uh, doubling up is fine too. Like I'm thinking of Nordheim of us fallen. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can definitely recruit in there. Yep. Okay, so that's four, I believe. Yep. yep. Or five. One, two. Oh no, three, four, four. And then maybe I'll go into Niederschlossen as well. Yep. yep. You're going to be running on empty, that. running on fumes here. <laughs> you know, yeah, you bet. Uh, hey. Can I get into, can I get into Bremen at all? Can I go into the cities or not yet? Uh, not the cities that have loyalty. The only city you can get into. Oh, there's two, actually there's a couple. You can get into Saarbrücken right in the south. Yeah, that's okay. um, that's neutral. Uh, and you can also get into any of the cities that have passive resistance. So you could get into Nuremberg, uh, Kassel, Frankfurt, Stuttgart, and uh, Munich or Munchen right down the bottom there. Any oh, of those. and Clint, is 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 there recommended value in in in, or is that a little bit too big of an apple to to tackle in your first? The first uh, no, the cities are. It's easier for the Soviets and the Allies to crush guerrillas when they're in cities. They just got to it, it right. means their police can assault and their patrol actions can get their troops there quickly. But okay, um, Munich is a good spot because it's high population at the start of the game. No Allies or Soviets are near it, so Munich is a pretty good one. All right. Um, I should say, yeah, Munchen. But um, Saarbrücken is good too because it's neutral and there's only one allied troop cube there. That's the and one I was looking at. So let's let's go yeah. over there. Let's go to Saarbrücken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So that's all six of my dollars. I'm, I'm spent out. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But now, yeah. now so, I got to uh, infiltrate. Brazen. I'm just going to move some of these control markers away so the allies no longer control. Yeah, I was going to say, I was going to ask you about that. So, yeah. Uh, inactive, sorry, yeah, like uh, hidden um, guerrillas still remove affect control. Yes, they do. Yeah. Okay. So the allies, yeah, and I'll just have to move the control markers off to the side because I rather than delete them because we're going to need to put them back when someone does take control. But yeah, that's that removes allied control from all of those places. So now, Clint, anywhere that I activate a cell, that will give me uh, like an infiltrate uh, return, right? It'll give you a resource. Yeah, a resource. Yeah. So I could infiltrate yeah. in uh, Mecklenburg. Oh, you mean extort? Yeah, sorry, extort, extort is the action that gives you money. Yeah, uh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, and, and don't forget, you can also extort um, in the places that have the research tokens, like over in East Germany, like in in my part of the part of Germany. You've got a, quite a few research tokens, and you've got underground gorillas. So you could extort with the gorilla and also grab the research because you are performing an action there. Oh, excellent. Okay, so yeah. so which uh, that would be? But it's in, a it, it's a trap, Cax, because then you have to activate. <laughs> And then Clint can hmm. assault you and take the research. That's right. That's right. I can do trap. that. Oh, that is an option. It's a trap. It, it's a trap. <laughs> Nato, are you, is that a self-serving comment, though? Maybe. <laughs> yeah. I love that you're aware that you're being manipulated doubly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, well, let's. Uh, I have a base and I have two girls in Mecklenburg. So I, activating one there is safe enough. Yes. So that would put and, standing and, it straight up, um, Clint, yep. or? Okay. Yep. Yeah, and, and put him on top of the research too. You may as well, because okay. you've done an action there. Yep. And that gives uh, you a dollar, your money up. Now, can I can I activate in uh, Mark Brandenburg or no? Because it's uh, it's got Yeah, the, you um, can. Yep. Yeah. Okay. You, can. you just can't recruit there because it's they're too loyal to the Soviets. Yes, but you can and, extort. Yeah. I can. Okay, so that's another, another dollar. Another dollar. Um, so turn... like, oh sorry, go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna say, uh, in in a place like, um, say, Th- uh, Turinger here, if I activated there, uh, I do risk losing my presence there, though, right? Because I would be easily assaulted. Yeah, I can I can assault you easily when you're active. Yes. Right. Okay. So that's that's what I, I that's what I was wondering about. So that's a bit of a risk, but uh, I guess in in Niederschausen I could. Yeah. Yep. Not much yep. of a risk there. Yeah. Uh, even in, in sh- I mean, if someone wants to come into uh, Schulzweig Holstein, they could, but I'll, I'll activate there as well. Yep. Yeah, it's pretty safe because we have to spend time and effort getting there. Yeah. How do how do we go from active to underground? Is there a way to hide? Yeah. At the, at the end of the crisis round, like um, when we do the scoring, they all flip. All the gorillas on the map flip. Okay. Uh, yeah, otherwise, if you want to get them back underground, the only way to do it is recruit. Like recruit. Um, means you can either place new gorillas right. or take your active gorillas off and flip them back underground and put them with a base. Okay. Uh, and Nordheim Westfallen, I'll uh, I'll activate there as well. Yep. Um, are you tracking this, Clint, target. or should I go through yeah, yeah, again? Yeah, yeah. Okay, no, awesome. tracking it. Awesome. Yeah, tracking awesome. it. 
Uh, and then I uh, just, just uh, again, again, sort of a strategic piece here, but down where I, um, I recruited in, in uh, Sud Baden and Württemberg yep. is, is there, are they is it safe enough? Down yes, there? because the, um, if NATO wants to assault you there, because it's the mountains, he'll need at least two troops to kill one gorilla. Oh, and he only has one in each place. So if you if you want to extort up in the mountains, it's harder for him to, to root you out of there. So they, okay. they're safe places too. So I will, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll activate in both those. You're reasonably places. safe there. Yeah, exactly. Now, <laughs> I, 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 do, uh, I do hesitate for the city though. Oh, yeah, he, he can assault you easily in the city. Yeah, I don't yeah. think I'm going to go there just yet. Okay. Uh, and, Clint, I've got some yellow blocks in Weimar, in Leipzig, and Dresden. Are those... Um, no, like, so they're... The colouring, they're actually Soviet. They're orange. Oh, okay, sorry, yellow. sorry. Yeah, so they're Soviet police. Okay, so they're not my faction. Perfect, okay. No, that's your mind, yeah. Okay, and I think, I don't know, unless, Clint, you're seeing something that I overlooked, but I think that's... a fairly good uh bit that of is a good turn you're okay. flooding yeah, you the zone big time yeah you're, you're up to nine resources you start the game with five now you're on nine and you've got a ton <laughs> of gorillas on the map okay so you've got, oh, so, you've got a total of so you've got 17 gorillas on the map now out of a did, total of 20 did so. i i didn't did i activate nine gorillas yeah no no but you you had a little bit of money saved up you didn't spend all your money on recruiting so you oh had a i thought i had spent all up. six. Oh, okay yeah okay yeah Awesome. All right, then I'll, yeah, I'll call that a turn. Yep, that's a good turn. Um, let's see. I am going to pass because I want to grab my nifty event. All right. So I'll go $3. And that's it. That's a turn. Yeah. Okay. So, so add your was... proper turn event. NATO, are you bringing out another card? Yeah, I can bring down the card. And what triggers the crisis? How long until we reach that phase? We uh, you'll see it coming one card ahead, so it, this it's roughly every fourteen cards, but it could be it's random. So, okay, uh, Clint, yeah. is it uh, an automatic uh, event? Like it automatically occurs when you when you flip it, or do you still play the? Previous no, card we'll we'll get a turn to do stuff before it happens. Okay, that's what I was wondering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know I know some coins have gone that that direction. So yeah, I don't I don't sort of don't like that. I like being out of plan ahead a little bit when the crisis card is coming because it, it changes so many things so the, oh yeah yeah i think there's, yeah. there's pros and yeah. cons each way yeah for sure and yeah, i think there's sure. it really depends on you know your style of play because i also find like i, I kind of like the fact that as soon as a cam you know crisis card or whatever it's you know a coup card or whatever comes up that it immediately goes into that round because otherwise you end up with some gamey kind of things where people start yeah you know, to score the most points at that, like that they would never have normally done, but it's just because the card coming up is, uh, you know, a, a coup card or whatever, crisis card. Yep. They, so, but anyway, so Butcher of Lyon is next one. Oh boy. Yes. Yeah, so we have Agit Prop then Butcher of Lyon. So I'm going to go Ooh. ahead and uh, take the event. I'm going to take the Agit oh, Prop. Oh, no, you didn't. Yep. So not this fond of that. Yeah, now I'm going to actually go after. Well, I'm going to go after NATO with this. This is really an anti-allied event, and the Allies are like my main rival at the start of the game. Oh, this is mm. why Cold War tensions are going up by one, Clint. Yes, that's right. <laughs> this is why tensions, yep, tensions go up by this one. This is why it's card. happening. And they're going to go up for every every time we do stuff to annoy each other. Um, <laughs> it goes down. So I am going to remove the loyalty in Hamburg and West Berlin. Oh, ouch. So yeah, that is my machine. One. Yep. So this is like Soviet agents, like communist agents, sowing discord in West Germany. Uh, and that is going to put allied loyalty down by a total of nine. And they're, therefore, their victory points go down by nine as well. Oh, so they go from 29 down to 20. <laughs> that was devastating. And that also it puts tensions up again. So the card puts them up by one. And then the fact that I've hurt him in two places, puts him up by another two. So Cold War tensions are now at standoff, which means right. West Berlin is That, Berlin that I totally agree with. That's how I feel yep. towards you now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Very frosty. <laughs> yes. yes. Uh, so that, I, Soviets have played the event. Wow, and, uh, that was a punishing turn. Also. Oh, uh, yeah, yes. I'm getting hammered. The werewolf. All right. I, I don't need to hit you now, Nate. Someone's taking care of it, so. I'll, I'll change my focus. <laughs> <laughs> so we're stuck in Berlin now. Yes. So that you can't move out of Berlin. Yeah. I don't know if I'd want to. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Because I can mark in. And you're pick you're it. right next door there, and I don't I don't know yeah. if I'm more cool with that. <laughs> He's pretty shifty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, werewolf. Get yep, up to I no like good to go again. Okay. Well, I suppose I I just want to I think flood the board with some resources, so I'm going to be needing to do some recruit, right? Uh, well, you yeah, just put your marker down yeah, here. The marker goes down there on the. Right. Yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> so you get and an action, special action. One of each. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. we'll do some recruiting. Yep. You got nine resources. So you just, um, okay. You, you, you place your gorillas and I'll adjust your money down. I'll spend your money for you. Sure. Now, can I challenge Cax up in Schleswig Holstein? Yeah. You can whack a guy there. It'll remove his control. And by whack, he means place. Place, yes, exactly. <laughs> okay. Yep. Well, might as well take jump it, in there. Back. I cannot go into sort of those Soviet areas there, right? Mecklenburg. Oh, that's right. I'll tell all... you what you can recruit is uh, you can recruit in West Berlin because that is now neutral. Because <laughs> yes. Oh, but would that be advisable? Do I want to get into that mess? Well, you've already got a guy there, so you, it's... Yeah, you, you already have a presence there. You don't really need to do it, but you have the option. Right. And yeah, you can also get into Hamburg. Um, and Hamburg has a research token under the escort of Allied Police. And you could feasibly recruit in Hamburg and maybe capture that research. But I, I shouldn't be giving you too many hints. <laughs> You've already hit NATO hard enough. So I know, I'm getting I, hammered here. I do appreciate it <laughs> because I am guys. stumbling in the dark. I do like Hamburg, so I think I will uh, I will go for that. Yep. I'd like to get in there, so that's another one. Um do want to consolidate a little bit more in the south here. Uh, can I get another one in the Rhineland Faults? Uh, yep. Yep, you can recruit there. And uh, how about down the mountainous region? Is that out of reach for me? Yeah, you can go down in, in uh, Bayern or Württemberg, Hohenzollern or Sudbaden or Hessen is also mountainous too when you have a base there. So oh, it would be yes. Yeah. Yeah, let's get Hessen. I'll put a couple yeah, so there. You can put two guys there for the price of one. Because you got a base. Okay. And how are we doing on the money? We're getting down. Um, down to five. I might as well get a couple more on the board, though. Um, Sued Baden. Uh, yep. Oh, wait a second. I, I guess I want to be positioning myself to win over the, um, what is it? The uh, No, I want opposition, right? Yeah, resistance. Yeah. And bases. So don't forget, you, you can trade. Uh, two gorillas for a base, if you want yes. as well. As oh, a okay. recruit, so yeah. I could I could put one base down here somewhere. Yeah, yeah, well, no, you could do multiples if you want to trade the gorillas in. Oh, okay. So you so can build another base in uh, <laughs> Württemberg Baden. That would be a good place to do it. Yeah. Okay. Are I'll you do able that to then. trade? A, are you able to trade an active uh, insert or an active uh, piece yes. for a base? Okay. Yeah. You can, yep. Just any two uh, gorillas, and they can be awesome. active. Okay, good. Yep. good. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so, um, uh, Flash, did you? I don't think you traded in the two gorillas for the. Yeah, base. you've got to move two gorillas off. Back to move the gorillas off. Available. Oh, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. And move your active. Really, one. No, move your active one. Yeah. That oh, yeah. Fun. Of course. Yeah. And then. Um, now, do I need, I guess I'm okay in the cities, or should I be stocking up in Stuttgart and München and Frankfurt? Um, I would probably go, no, don't stock up too much. If you've got one gorilla in a place, that's enough to do terror, which is what you're really trying to do. Right. Um, you could maybe whack one in Nuremberg, because that's under allied occupation, and okay. it's already at passive resistance, and you could later on do terror and turn that to active, which would yes. be kind of cool. Okay. Can I get yep. one in Bonn? Or just adjust your money. Um, no, not in Bonn because that is um, loyal to the Allies. Oh, okay. Yeah. And same for. Oops, sorry. Oops. Where else? Okay, yeah. So that's good. And then I can do a special action now as well. Yes, that's right. Okay. Now, if you wanted to eventually get into Bonn. What you could do as your special action is a Wunderwaffen strike, spending one of your research in one of those adjacent provinces. Um, so the research would be gone, but you would roll a dice and remove that many pieces, and the place would also shift to neutral. 
and we Ooh. put a terror marker on it. Although so Nate's getting one. Nate's getting hammered, so I, I really yeah. don't want to hit. Yeah, him. no, you don't have to do that. I mean, you could um, you could maybe launch one against me, but you're not in range. You don't have any guys. That's with the problem. Oh, okay. Um, so I guess maybe what's left to capture here? Is there much left on the board? No, everything's not really finished. okay. So that's useless. Um, and I cannot do anything to get control from a special action. No, and you don't need control. No, but what okay. you can do is assassinate. So in two, you can with your recruit action, you can do the assassinate special action. So in any two places where you have an underground okay. gorilla, you just yep. kill a piece. And if you don't want to target Nate again, you could go after Cax and kill some Edelweiss guys because they're your enemy too. It's always uh, a bad idea to target Cax. He is uh, <laughs> very bad. He, he will come hard for me. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> Yeah. Very vengeful. Uh, so you know what? I can hit. I, I'm gonna, sorry, Nate. I'm gonna have to hit you. No, thanks. let's knock him down. Can I knock one down in Hamburg? Yes, you got a guy there. Um, and if you're gonna, if you really want to hurt him, you want to target his troops because that eventually lowers his morale. So the the blue cubes are the troops. They're actual That's American right. and British soldiers, and the green cubes are the police, which are Germans, local Germans. Okay, and it hurts his morale more to kill his troops. Yeah, so I'll I'll hit one of those troops there. So do he removes that from the board? Uh, yeah, go. I'll move it. It goes over to casualties, and then I become active. Correct. Uh, no, assassinate. You stay underground. So oh, assassinate. Okay. Um, this is like his, historically, it's um, the werewolves had a lot of snipers, right? And so they okay. yeah they kind of stay underground basically, and they yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'm yeah. I might as well, and I can hit up to two. I might as well take one out of uh, Berlin. Here is it? Yeah, you can uh, assassinate of- in Berlin. Another one of NATO's here, West Berlin. Yep, I'll do it over. Sorry, Nate. You got my troops I to know. <laughs> I'm the punching bag. <laughs> I'm coming back. I'm coming roaring. If back. I could hit Clint, I would, but I just, <laughs> that'll that'll be up to Cax to take care of that. Yep. Well, that's it for the turn. Um, okay. Nate can pass or negotiate. Um, Why don't you negotiate? Nato wouldn't go now, would he? Because the two the two factions have gone. No. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So gotta, he gotta... he has um he can pass or negotiate. That's his only options. He can't do an action. Oh, oh, there's a third. Oh, there. Okay, sorry. Yeah, that's is that. Yeah, so you still is that a yeah, new you... twist, Clint? Uh no. The other coin games have it. You if you are eligible, but there's no space for you to claim an action. You just pass normally. Yes. Um, okay. Yeah. Can most of it, but you you can in this you can choose to pass or negotiate. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Okay. Negotiate. Get get three dollars or put the, put tensions down by one. Okay, NATO. What do you what do you down, choose? I mean, we're allowed to get out of Western East Berlin will become unfrozen. So that's kind oh, of oh man, Clint forces it up. up and then you bring it down. Oh, that sounds oh, like a yeah. bad deal. I know. <laughs> I don't even get anything from that. No, it, but it, it okay. frees up my Soviet troops to. So I I can pass Canada. then and then. It, it lets Clint to... loose so he can yeah exactly his I'm gonna trap yeah. those guys in there so, <laughs> so that'll yeah. give you three dollars all resources. right I will uh oops the one thing you don't need a eh, NATO is more resources <laughs> well no I'm but it cost me more to to do actions though oops that's right yeah, yeah. right so you're back here with uh okay and NATO I believe you have o- the option here I am up first but let's see what the what pending the card is oh it's a soviet the event volkshammer yes the volkshammer that's the east german parliament so that will make my uh, indoctrinate actions cheaper which is very cool it's, i get a little marker that i place in east berlin Ooh. and as long as i control east berlin i have cheaper indoctrination so yeah i like that image. somebody needs to knock clint back here he's, i know he's he getting very dominant. strong <laughs> he's dominant Clint, uh, this this event here, Butcher of Lyon. I'm guessing I would probably take, uh, like, is is it generally the insurgent faction in the in the gray or the or the uh, the top? It's a mixed. Uh, it's a mixed one. Um, is it okay? It's yeah. it's not. It's it's very situational. It depends on, yeah, if you're willing to lose werewolf gorillas, because um, that's the, it, it hurts werewolf either way. And it can benefit them in subtle ways. It can hurt the allies, which we don't really need to do. Um, <laughs> <laughs> who, who is the? Uh, who it's is actually the end? not. It's, it's actually not a great event for this particular board situation that we have now. Okay, yeah. that's good to hear. 
because yeah. it, well, just I'm just looking at the top half for moving two gorillas. I, I do see two gorillas that would be useful to to. Uh, to yeah, take that's off what I was board. thinking. So if I remove this gorilla, I can steal that research. I assume. Yeah, yeah. Um, the other thing you can do is if you're the allies and you're doing an action and a special action, you have other ways of getting rid of gorillas. So you might want to do a oh, command okay. which is which is an auto kill of a gorilla, even an underground one. Okay. That's a nifty way to grab research. Um, that's a special action. And then you can combine that with an action. So you could do like a reinforce and put a whole bunch more troops on the map. Or you could yeah. do a search and, and like sweep into a whole bunch of areas and flip the gorillas to active. Um, or you could do a patrol and redistribute your guys around the cities. Yeah, I don't have enough guys to redistribute at the moment. Yeah. Um, okay, so um, you know what? I, if that's the case, I will, uh, I'll take my action and special action. Now just it's interesting looking at the map and when you were putting this all together, it's really interesting that the East Germans are, you know, quote unquote loyal to the Soviets. Is that historically what happened? Yeah, well basically the the Soviet loyalty in the game represents either actual communists or they're just terrified of the Red Army. So wow. the population of East Germany had copped it really bad. They had, there was a lot of massacres and the Soviets were, were incredibly brutal to that half of the country where they occupied. So yeah. that Soviet loyalty at the start of the game is, is basically the population is terrified of the Russians. So they're mm. willing to like, you know, side with them rather than the insurgents. Yeah. So Adolf, so like what they want to eventually do is start doing terror all throughout East Germany to remove all that, you know, Soviet loyalty. Yes. Huh. Yes. And then you've got... Um, you know, werewolf very much in control in the south. Yeah, and that's you historically know. you look at the um, where people voted in German elections. The Nazi heartland is southern Germany, especially yeah. Bavaria. That's yeah. Huh. You look at like the, the population that voted for the Nazi party. That's it's that part of Germany. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So <clears throat> now, um, if I'm not mistaken, um, so I can bring in. Um, now, if I play, so if I place um, troops, that costs me morale. Like, if I place yes. base, does that also cost me morale or no? Just any reinforce action costs you morale. Oh, so if you, oh. yeah, so every every place that you reinforce in is going to lower your morale by one. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Um, and I can go in pro in any any city, right? Or I'd have to have control or a base, right? Okay. It's any yeah, anywhere that you control, even a province, anywhere you control or anywhere you have a base. Okay. So I'm going to do that for one. Yep. And do you want me to adjust your money? You can, yeah, you can adjust. Yeah. yeah I'll do all that. Yeah. Um, and your who, goes who is the, um, who are the green, is the allies, the green, the green square cubes? Those are the yep. police. Okay. That's right. The yep. police and then the blue, uh, the blue cubes are the uh, like the troops for the allies. Yep. Yes. Okay. That's right. So, and who is the allies? NATO. Uh, yeah, Americans, British, <laughs> uh, and in this game, it's NATO. Uh, I say it's good NATO. The good like guys. The yeah. good guys. The NATO NATO nickname is NATO. NATO. Yeah, it is. <laughs> uh, uh, so, so Clint, one aspect of the coin that NATO and I rarely get to actually put into play is the negotiating part. And uh, yeah. Is, is that an active uh, piece in with uh, Werewolf or, or not? The negotiations aren't really... Um... No, negotiations are absolutely on the table at all times. Any faction can freely um, give resources, research, or HE tokens to another faction whenever okay, you want. Okay, so th in that case, uh, NATO, I I'm noticing a few cities where, uh, where you know, removing a few Werewolf, uh, you know, underground uh, uh, factions yeah. might, might be helpful to you. <laughs> yes. What's it worth to you? <laughs> well, what what are you asking? I don't have much. You, as moment. far as resources, where your resources? You're just at? asking for direct transfer. Oh, oh, hundred percent. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm looking for cash, man. <laughs> yeah, uh, do, do you have the, I, I need. I'm going over. I'm going overseas for my for my uh, to like to do some funding here. Come on. <laughs> what does NATO get out of this? Yeah. Uh, NATO gets uh, a little piece in common some cities. I, I was I was specifically <laughs> looking at. Uh, Doesn't he get that anyways without yeah. paying you? If if you look at Nuremberg, like for example, like Randall could cause some havoc for you in Nuremberg, or. Um, so I, I think that's five uh, five Clint. Yep. yep. Or uh, yeah. the other one that I was wondering about was either Hamburg or you know. Yeah, but what do you what do you do about it? What oh I can take the event. 
and remove two. Oh, I, can, I see. I see. I can remove two. Uh, yeah, I can, I'm able to remove any two werewolf gorillas. Uh, don't forget, Nate. Your um, you can do your special action and yeah, also. Yeah, um, I was going to do a commando in, raid, I believe. Okay, I'll let you finish, but but I want you to chew on that as you finish. I'm going okay, yeah. to I'm going to plant the seed. Don't do don't chew too heavily though. I think um this guy is the uh, whoops double click. Oop. There we go. Oh, that was unkind. Research. Well, he was threatening a bond and Cole and everyone else with your wonder waffen whatever. Yep. Strike. <laughs> so it was it was yeah. a preemptive strike. You were you were yeah, gonna also hit preemptive counterattack. Yeah. You can um you can do a reconstruction as part of your reinforce. So in one place oh, where you yes. have control okay. troops and police, you can build up the loyalty. Yeah, okay. You know what? If that's the case, then I'm I'm gonna um do West Berlin then. Yeah, so you would have to uh, have recruited in there. So yeah, I'll just to, uh, I'll just pretend I did. <laughs> I'll move those guys over. I think yeah. sorry, Bon had one of each or uh Bon had two of each. Two of each. Yeah. Uh sorry. oh NATO. Could you imagine Hamburg being insurgent free? <laughs> can, you, can you see can you see Puppet a world like that? Yes. <laughs> I mean, come you, on, imagine all of Nuremberg. You like? Well, we know what Cax wants. <laughs> yeah. How much how do you much, how, how much do you have? And how much do you uh, I don't know actually. How much do I if I can I switch um West if you, you want West, yeah, I'm gonna do it for you now. So I'm giving giving you active loyalty. I'm, I'm yeah, guessing you want the loyalty maximum. Is, is good. Yeah, okay. So West Berlin goes to active. That's gonna cost you another six resources. So yep. this is why you need the money. Just yep. you're, remember. Down to 18, you're down to eighteen dollars, but it puts yep. your victory points up by twelve because West Berlin is population six. Yes. Yeah. You go no, from was... seventeen back up to twenty nine on your victory points. Yeah. What do I need? Was it fifty? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've got a little 50. ways to go. Just remember, um, yeah. I'm well positioned to hamstring you, Nate. So don't be too unkind. Oh, uh, you know what? If if <laughs> you know what, I'm getting threatened by flash here, Cax. So. <laughs> oh, but I, NATO. I, I feel the sudden need to pay you off to take the event. <laughs> NATO, if you if you look me too, it's not only that you get um, you get to shift Bond and Starburn uh, as yeah. well. So it's so, it's like it's there's actually several layers of bonus here for you. So what were you <laughs> what what were you thinking? I'm thinking uh I don't know, like three three for each uh it's going to cost you three for each. Six. Yeah. Wow, that is I'll, greedy I'll sounding. Yeah, that's that's fair. I'll pay okay. six. You're going to give me six resources. I'm going to give you six. Okay. So I'll go to 15. I'll, I'll make the adjustment. Oh, you've done it. Oh, yeah. sorry, sorry, Clint. Yeah, I just bumped up. Yeah, <laughs> no, yeah that's yeah. fine. Yeah, I'll I'll reduce. Uh, and that. NATO, name your name your price. Name your you, cities. I will, oh, okay. I, will, I will. I will target any cities. Well, I think we got to uh, get uh, rid of uh, West Berlin. And West Berlin is gone. Consider it. Consider it eliminated. And who? Is uh, in, it's all right. Tensions were super high there, anyways. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you didn't. You didn't enjoy. I'll no. just move that way. We'll go over. Okay, um, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> and let me see. Probably don't want a guy in Hamburg, do you? Yeah, that, that's, 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 that's the, the one I was looking at. Yeah, in Hamburg. In Hamburg. Okay, hmm. Hamburg is gone. Uh, uh, so, Clint, being our first negotiation, how, how did we do? Who? Who? who got, <laughs> who <laughs> From your vantage, Clint, I need to know: Did I get screwed? Did I just like you know? <laughs> well, you just managed to uh, coax six resources out of someone, so you did a really yeah. good job there. And, yeah. and okay. you would have you would have been doing the event anyway, so I probably was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But Bon, <laughs> so, bon is that is, event uh, also puts morale down by one too. I should point that out. Yeah, but Bon, Bon, and uh, what is it? Uh, Saarbrücken. Saarbrücken gets. Uh, boosted up there. And Cax, you also yeah. managed to raise tensions between NATO and I rather than between you and I, because you made it look like he's the guilty one. Yeah. I, <laughs> so that was clever on exactly. multiple fronts. I think, <laughs> I think you dominated NATO there. <laughs> I'm just curious. I, I, I very rare get to negotiate. So I know I, you know, and being a new faction, so I don't know. Hopefully this is about what I, I need to get. <laughs> All right. I'm just making some adjustments there, guys. Yeah. Uh, so I switched the faction characters over, so we're good for the next round. Yep. Yep. So next card. 
is the Vulcan hammer or whatever. Yeah, the Volkskammer. Volkskammer. Okay. Yeah. Uh, followed up by. I'm just trying to put this. Marker. Followed up by. Oh, it's an Edelweiss me. event. Excellent. Roadside bombs. It's not a car. It's a Volkskammer. <laughs> yeah. Now I've got to decide whether I want that. Uh, let me just finish adjusting things. So NATO's on 32 now because of that card. Um, let's see. No, I'm not going to go with the event. Um, I'm going to go an action with a special action. So, mm. yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And the Soviets are going to go ahead and do a search, um, first of all. Oh, and against CAC? Against, against the Edelweiss. Yeah, I've well, oh, got a lot of Edelweiss guys, and I think they're going to be doing terror soon to open up their recruitment places, so I want to get rid of them before they can do that. All right, fair Smart. enough. Smart. Cax, I'm sorry, I'll see what I can do to help. Oh, thank you, NATO. <laughs> You can just pay him more money. <laughs> that would so be very helpful. I'm going to search in five locations. Whoa, Whoa. easy <laughs> does it, Clint. Come on, yeah. man. Wow. Jeez. Well, there's a, there's a Cax? lot of research up for grabs here. So I'm going to start down in Turingen. So I'm going to flip your guy. Oh, boy. He's going to grab um, lots of research. Jeez. I'm going to send. Um, yeah, this the troop that's already there is the one doing the search. He's going to grab the research. And then I'm going to do the same thing in Bundesland Saxon. Active. My troop there will grab the research. Then I'll do a search into East Berlin with my troops that are already there. So he goes active. And then I'm going to search into Mecklenburg. And I'm going to bring in adjacent pieces. I'm going to bring in some police. And I'm going to bring in a troop with a HE. And those guys are allowed to move despite the Cold War tensions? Oh, sorry. No, they're not. Oh. Very good call, Flash. Yeah, good spotting. You're yep. welcome, Cax. I'll take money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's all right. Yep, no, you are right. I will have to bring some guys from elsewhere for my final one. Brandenburg, I'm going to search as well. And I'm going to bring in a troop with a HE from there. So in this, um, in this version, uh, police can sweep? Yep. Yeah, in it's the, purely the, for the simplifying. It's um, yeah, yeah. So they, they can sweep alongside the troops. Do they have to be accompanied one one for one? No, nope. you can okay. just sweep in with police. Yeah. Okay. There's a lot. There's a lot of like exceptions in the coin series that I just cut. I just cut the exceptions just so it's easy yeah. to sort of teach players. You know. Yeah. Um, that also okay. removes control there. So no more Edelweiss control in Brandenburg. Oh. Ouch, Cax. I've moved in just enough to take away control. I think we know who's going down next turn. Oh, Cax. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to do... I've got a special action. As well. Yeah, my <laughs> special action is going to be a bombard in Brandenburg. So oh, that is yes. all adjacent Soviet troops and HE and bases can join in on this. So for every two troops or for every one HE, I can remove an enemy piece. Um, so I'm going to, the guys in East Berlin, they can't move, but they can bombard out of East Berlin. And I've also got a, a HE and two troops in there. It's plenty to destroy. Oh, all well, there goes your base. And, uh... so, so who's getting hammered here? Is this is this poor Cax again? Yeah. I almost yes. feel bad for him now. Yeah, can... Despite his scheming. He's got yeah. the money. Though. He's got the money. Yeah, he's with that amount of money, he's going to be able to buy back all of these guys and more yes. very quickly. So that's why. True, I'm but what a waste back. of resources. Oh, You're welcome. What was given is just taken away. <laughs> and that also gives me uh, Soviet control in that space, too. Jeez. Another, where's my where's control token? I had a few lying around on the side of the map there. It's funny. It feels like we all are having good turns. <laughs> yeah, you know, we each get slaughtered by one, and then you know, have a good turn to follow up. Hey, that's that's the best thing about this game. That's why I made it. Every turn, you feel like you're accomplishing a lot. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> very much so. What's your go. favorite faction to play, Clint? Uh, Edelweiss, actually, they're my preferred one. Um, Ooh. What, what yeah. do you like about them? Because uh, they have a, a really small footprint on the map, so they can kind of sneak around. They kind of go unnoticed, and they can really hurt the other factions, and they have some really cool cards um, in the deck. If you're playing the full game and use the um, the key events, which are like the pivotal events, and you mm -hmm. use the full game, um, you, it's very often that Edelweiss just keeps staying eligible, so they just keep doing stuff all the time, 
which is wow. really cool. Yeah, the next, the next, the other yeah. factions. I noticed that with the next event, uh, Clint, that I'll be able to stay eligible. That's kind of cool. Yes, there's a lot of cards like that. So basically, cool. Ableweiss are constantly able to chip away at the other factions. That's what I really like about them. And I, if you can stay under the radar and go unnoticed, that's how you sort of get the win. Hmm. Yeah, hmm. that's my turn done. Okay, so werewolf, you can pass or negotiate. Okay, so I can't oh, do well, my second do, faction. No, werewolf action. can do stuff. They can do the event, or they can do. Oh, uh, sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I was. Uh, yeah, sorry. I I thought you were the second. Opponent. Right, that doesn't look like it's that helpful for me. No, I mean you could do a you could do a limited action and do say you know terror in one place or a recruit in one place with no special action. I do but, feel like I should start working towards my victory condition and do some terror. Yeah, yeah. So let's yeah. maybe do that then. All right. So we move your little marker over there to do a limited action. Okay. So basically, Thank you. You, know, I'll, you can I'll... only do terror in one space then. Okay. Yep. Um, and forgive my ignorance here. Uh, what is most advantageous? Do I want terror in a place that's well under my control or no high population? Um, High population. High population, right? The little number around the yeah. circle. So, so Bi maybe Bayern down in Munch three. Munchen or? Yeah. Bayern yeah, is or, three. Or Bayern. Yeah. Bayern is three. Oh, right. Okay. That's probably your best option because that'll give you three victory points by taking the the uh, the resistance from passive to. Um, and there's a multiplier there. Yeah. So it's right now it's three times one because yes. it's passive, yes. right? And then if I yep. take that one, it's three times two, so I'll I'll have six. Yeah, that that place will be right. worth six for you. So it'll it'll you it's worth three, and it goes up to being worth six. So you that's you gain three victory points basically if you do that. Oh, okay, yeah, that sounds good. And you do have do to I... activate a gorilla and pay a dollar. So we'll, yeah, there we okay. go. I'll do activate that for you and pay a dollar. Okay, and yep. I can only do one terror event. That's right, because you're doing a limited action. That's what it says on the sequence of play. Right. So limited is you. Right. Okay. Just one space. Yeah. Okay. That is going to put you up to 23 points. So you need 35 to win. You're on 23 now. Oh, okay. Not bad. That's now, how do, how do I get those resources up? Uh, capture, okay. which is your special action. Right. Gain resources and steal research. Okay. And I can capture from one of you. Yeah, you can, you can steal, research, or heavy equipment tokens from us, uh, but no matter where you do capture, you do it up to three places, everywhere you do capture, you just automatically gain one resource. A resource. Okay. If you do capture on the roads, it's worth two. Ah, so if okay. you're getting low on money, the best way to build up money is the insurgents is to march onto the roads, gotcha. which is free, costs you zero resources, and then capture or for Edelweiss extort on the roads, and you'll get two resources per road. Very nice. So that's probably in my near future, given my yes. state of economics. Yes, that's right. Okay, I appreciate the strategic advice. Thank you. Yeah, I'll try and help. Where would I? Uh, where would I find the roadblocks, uh, Clint? Oh, actually, there's uh, not a drop-down yeah. menu here. Faction. Markers, yeah. So no, it's a terror. Game the, markers. Yes, yeah, should be there. All right. So I'm taking the event here. I'm going to do three roadblocks. Oh yep. boy. Um. <clears throat> Now, uh, I'm guessing the, it's the gray squiggly lines here. Are those the roads? That's right. Yep. Yep. Any thing roads. It looks like intestines. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, Clint, what's your, what would, uh, I, I'm trying to block the movement, I guess, of, of the. Yeah. Uh, of allies or Soviets, depending yeah, on. Yeah, those you think two, right. Threat. Yeah. right. Um, and it also will reduce our money. So if we have blockades on a, a road that's adjacent to our cities, it reduces our money in the crisis round. Okay. So what you what you want to do is um, I'll, I'll give you some advice. If you if you were trying to stop me, um, the gateway for the Soviets to get out of East Germany into the West is they can't really go West Berlin because tensions are high and I'll, I'll stop as soon as I get there and I'll put tensions up even higher. Mm -hmm. So my two cities that I want to take to get out of my little corner of the map is Kassel and maybe Nuremberg, which is, again, will push tensions up. Oh, if you can okay. work, if you want to stop me, you want to put blockades on those roads leading from East Germany into Kassel. Into Kassel. Oh, I that's see. Where, okay. Yeah, that's where I normally go first. So Kassel's the middle of the map. Um, you could also whack one between Weimar and Nuremberg. That's another path that I often take to start moving into the south. Weimar and Nuremberg. Okay. Yeah, there's yeah. a little road going between those two. Yeah, Weimar and Nuremberg. Oh, I see that one. Okay, so block that one. 
Um, That's if you're hammering Clint. I imagine if you yes. hit any yeah. of the roads in yeah. my half of the map, it'll hurt me. <laughs> and I, I also have the power to block roads, right, with terror? Yeah. That's but right. You have, to, so you have to get a, a gorilla on the road, though. You have to be on the road to do that. Uh, actually, you don't, you don't have to be on the road. You can just be oh. adjacent to the road. Oh, that's another okay. thing that's different to the other coin games. Yeah, yep. you can you can put it out if you're adjacent. It makes it a lot easier to put them out there. Gotcha. Yeah. Makes it a lot yeah. more efficient than Yeah, than marching onto the road and then doing the action later. So mm-hmm. yeah, you does can. that yeah. does that reveal my troops when I put that? Yes. Does that make them active? active? Okay. Yeah. Uh, so you got one more blockade. Yeah, market. I'm yeah. just debating where to put that last one. I think I might drop it. Uh oh, this is this last one's a bit of a trick. I'm nato has got a lot of people. Up. Let's let's block getting down into there. So, so that blocks little... NATO from getting to Castle. Yeah, uh, if you a better yeah, if you put it just to make it clearer, if we put or, it or should there, I block it maybe here? I can take the you, scenic you put route. It there, yeah. It block blocks. Them, block, it block blocks them. them from two locations. Then yeah, okay, yeah, let's, let's yeah, yeah or rather, yeah, well, it doesn't. It's the same thing no matter where you put it. It's all the same row, but just make it clear. If we put it there, it shows that you can't move from Hamburg and West Berlin are both mm. blocked. Oh, okay. NATO! Yeah. How do you? Cax treated you so badly. I there know. After you, but were you so know what? Kind. He's just trying to balance things out. I still, I still, uh, <laughs> I still believe in him. Very good. Very good. Okay, right. and I stay active, so I just return. Uh, yeah, guess... once, we, once the turn's over, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, um, we're, we're but now it. NATO has the chance to do an action and a special action. Yeah, which I'm going to do. Um, but strategically, um, I'm just one, I mean, probably sweep or what, sorry, you call it uh, search. A uh, search, yeah. Is probably my best option here, but just where? Well, you've got guys in Nuremberg. You've got uh, Rhineland for Faltz. There's a there's werewolves with research sitting there. Oh, yeah. Saxon. I mean, there's a you've got a lot of good options. I'd probably go Nuremberg and Rhineland for Faltz at a minimum. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So and the I'll, other thing I'll, you can do I'll is sweep, um, I'll search in Nuremberg and reveal him there. If you really want to go after Werewolf too, if you search into um, Bayern, it is already at active resistance. Um, if you bomb that with an airstrike, normally airstrikes shift the population towards resistance. If he's already maxed out for yeah. resistance, the airstrike, you can remove four enemy pieces in one go. Oh, with wow. An Ouch. Yeah. You know so what? If you just move- Flash has been pretty cocky, right? You know. <laughs> he is- Way to pick on the new guy. Oh, man. That's <laughs> just that- mean. <laughs> All right, so that uh, so probably so Nuremberg and Bayern. So that's six going to cost you six resources because you did a search in two places. Yeah. And how many how many resources? Where am I at? I'm probably getting pretty broke here. Uh, Eleven. Yeah, you're down to six now. After down that, down to six. Oh yep. yeah. Ouch. Um. Uh, let's see. What was the other place you mentioned? You said uh, uh, Rhineland and... and Belt. So oh, over yeah. in the west. Yeah, there's a werewolf gorilla there with a research token. Yeah. So if, uh, if I go there, then I can. What I want to reveal him. Yeah, I'll probably reveal all of all three, right? Yep, that's right. So I'll do that now. Okay. All right. So that I'm down to three. But I can airstrike. That's right. And I wouldn't recommend airstriking anywhere else but Bayern because it yeah. will shift those places towards resistance, which just helps yes. the werewolf. Yeah. No, that's fine. Mm. You guys don't like me here anyway, so. <laughs> yeah. Now, the <laughs> HE um, will have to be killed as a separate piece. So the got that gorilla. If you, you can't target, what I mean is you can't target the base. You have to kill that tank as well, the HE. Oh, I can't. Oh, I can't. Oh, I so see. the HE counts as a piece um, when it's gotcha. with a gorilla. Okay, yeah. so that uh, so the base is base still there. active then. Yeah, but his base is exposed um, hmm. and you now control that space. So later on, you could reinforce into there and then build up and do reconstruction to get rid of all that resistance. Oh, good. Yeah. Uh, that sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. Heart, winning hearts and minds is a tough, uh, tough thing. Yeah, but especially a, when you're I'm giving a, all your money to the Edelweiss guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
All right, that's it. That's our turn done. That is turn so move done. These over. Oops. <laughs> so I hear multiple people doing things. Yeah. I love how NATO's paying the guys who are against them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but that's that's the way that insurgencies sometimes work, right? Yeah, that's that's it. You got to cut deals. Um, oh, where's that? Know. Yeah, the werewolf there. Markers on top. Yeah, there, there we go. go. He's there. Okay, oh, so we have oh, Able Vice is eligible too. Actually, actually, I'm active. I'm active. Yeah, oh, I just moved you, you over. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because that yeah. the card oh, kept Able Vice eligible. Yes, that's right. Yep. Yeah. So uh, now this event here, Clint, I'm looking at it and I'm wondering its effectiveness right now. Move two gorillas from any city with allied police. Yeah. Um, the the bottom row is really bad for the allies because it removes loyalty entirely. So if yeah. that was done in West Berlin, that would be wiping out the Allies by 12 points, plus it lowers their morale. I so like the sound of that. Yeah, that, <laughs> that really does hurt NATO, the bottom one. Yeah. Uh, okay. The top one is, you know, moderately. Yeah, okay. So useful, it would, it but not really be... on this board right now. That, that top row is useless because all the guerrillas that are with police in a city are already active. Right, right. Okay, so yeah. we're looking at the bottom event to really crush nato here <laughs> yeah if you feel the need to do that yeah you yeah and you know what i, I think i actually want to take a op it special nato uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna give you very a wise choice very wise yeah. you guys are in bed together it's all right <laughs> we know how it is well, clint and i are gonna have to start working together well i love the song yeah. Idolize, so oh there you go well you said the magic word yeah <laughs> And I feel like I need to get some troops, some more boots in the ground here after last rounds. Yes. Double yeah, you could. Good. Um, the other thing you can do um, is you you because you have so much money and you can buy back troops if you need them anyway. Yeah. You could start going on the offensive and start attacking people. So okay. you're it, unlike other coin games in Werewolf, the gorillas can attack a lot better. They attack as in two gorillas just automatically kills one enemy piece. Um, to a minimum of one. So if you just have one gorilla doing an attack, it will automatically kill one piece. Oh, well, well let's so, attack like crazy then. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, because while you've got the cash to buy back your losses, um, that that's what I would be doing in your situation because it would allow yeah, you to brilliant. take control of a huge number of places and yeah. steal yeah. some research from <clears throat> me, actually. Come yeah, think so we'll we'll attack uh, starting in the north here. Um, Mecklenburg, get rid of that red uh, Soviet. Yep. So you, it'll cost you a dollar per space. That's fine. That's gonna, fine. Yeah. One. Yeah. All right. So you're going to kill my guy in and in the Benjamins. Uh, right. Schleswig we'll Holstein. Holstein. Yeah. Okay. So yep. Schleswig Holstein's gone. Yep. Killing a werewolf guy. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, very, very wise. Very hostile. Moving. Down oh, look there. at all those werewolf pieces in available. <laughs> what if I were to kill? Uh, uh, what if I were to kill the um, the werewolf here in uh, Niedersch uh On that's on the heavy the heavy equipment. Yeah, you wouldn't kill him because he's sitting on the HE. You have to kill the HE first before you kill him. So uh, your two gorillas, they would in, they would inflict a hit, but it would kill the HE first, which is not that beneficial to you. Yeah, no, get me out of my you. tank. Okay, if you so want to steal that HE, you could, um, as your special action, you could infiltrate, which allows you to swap an enemy piece for one of your own, which okay. will give you that infiltrate. That's, that's yeah. Nah, yeah. Well, uh, we'll, we'll leave that for now. I'll leave that for now. Yeah, leave that. Yeah. Feels uh, like Clint might be sort of in a, a really pretty position, and Cax, you're the one to really knock him back. So we're kind yeah. of counting on you here. All right, we'll see what I can do. Uh, <laughs> moving down here to Nordheim, Westfall, and I'll take that uh, that cube. Off of the yeah, so, uh, so move that troop to casualties. Oh, casualties, yeah. Allied I guess casualties, I should have so shipped to that. Research yeah, I'll do it. yeah, there it is. And I will put uh, put a guy on there. Probably the guy that's lying down, I guess, is a better choice. Uh, well, because you've attacked, it does activate your pieces, it activates all the gorillas in the space. So he'll have oh, to okay. go active. Oh, he goes active too. Okay, and then he can go on there. Yep, uh, I guess I should have shipped that home. Uh, Turinger, Turingen, I'll take that guy out. Put him there, and that guy's already and active. You can grab that research. Yep. Um, and in what place is this one here? Bundeswald. Oh yeah, Bundesland Saxon. Yeah, I'll take him <laughs> out. Bundesland. 
You've got the voice for the German pronunciation. <laughs> yeah, I learned a bit of German in university, so I can oh, sort good. of kind of pronounce it. Uh, in Saarbrücken, I'll take I'll take out that troop. Yep. So you and just activate your gorilla, and move that troop to casualties. Casualties activate. Jeez, my morale is going to be in the toilet in a second. Uh, yeah, it will be. <laughs> and uh, right in the south here, I'll take out South Sud Baden and uh, yep. Holzen. Yeah, Holden's Württemberg, Hordenzollen. Hordenzollen, yep. yep. So those two are gone as well. Jeez. Yeah, they go to casualties. That, that, that cost a lot. I have a feeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me just. I've got to put your money down. I so thought you I were a you friend. Mine. Yeah. Eight. Eight. Pretty much made uh, enemies of everyone there, Cax. Yeah, we went, <laughs> around the, went around the wheel there, yeah. But let me just adjust um, control because you just took control of a huge number of places. Jeez. So you're going to be going up by. I'm just putting them down in East Germany now. So I need my control marker, right? Yeah, I'll I'll start doing it for you because it's in a lot of places. I'll okay. put down control markers everywhere that you control. Okay. Ooh. Seems so like gonna... uh, Cax might be jumping ahead a bit here. Oh, now that's just the uh, that's just the terror, right? Or that was the attack. So now I can extort. You can do a special action. Yes, you can do any special action. False flag and you've just gone up by, let me just add it up because you've this is a big move for you. Uh, you've gone up by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, your victory, so your victory points have gone from three to 13. <laughs> oh, well and uh, I am down, am I at eight resources still, Clint? Yep, okay, so that's that's still yeah. plenty, so I don't have to worry about that. So I could, I could look at other special actions, yeah. Now, you could do another. Thing you can do is an ambush which is a special action now unlike other coin games the where the ambush is just a modified attack that you have to pay for in werewolf it's just a free special action that you can do even in a place where you've already done something else like where oh. you've already done an attack Ooh, wow. so and it just auto kills two enemies and lets you place one of your own underground gorillas in the space so that's a pretty good option to combine that's with. a very good option yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, depending on where you want to do it there's a few places that you could um, but you, your other options are good too. You've got false flag and you've got extort and you've got infiltrate. Any yeah, of those so, are good. Yeah. But I think that if, you, if you're just going after like killing enemies, ambush is your way to go. If you yeah, really want to. That's, that sounds about what I want to get done here. So Yeah. Well, look, I, I think it depends on who you want to hurt. It's either me or Nate. Yeah, uh, def could. definitely we'll go with uh, the Russians, actually. Yeah, yeah. Because well, <laughs> yeah. I'm wish. helping all you guys out. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing is I'm wondering I'm wondering which place I attacked that I was just looking where I've attacked where you have remaining pieces. Um, well, you, it doesn't have to be a place where you've already attacked. It can oh. be just a to totally, that's what I mean. It's, it doesn't modify an attack. It's just a totally oh. separate special action. So if you look in the middle of East Germany in province Saxon Anhalt, I've yes. got one troop and one base. If you do an ambush there targeting Soviets, you'll that's kill the troop and the oh base. That's boy. exactly what I wanted. That's where I, I actually was just looking. So they're, they're gone. Yeah, they're out. Yep. Yep. Yeah. And just activate your guy, but also place another underground gorilla there. Okay, so he's active. And then an underground guy comes up. Yeah. Okay, and that, that, must, that now neutralizes it as well, right? Uh, it doesn't change the population loyalty, but it will change. Um, it's actually control. now allied. Yeah. It's under allied control because the HE markers count for control purposes. So Nate's got two troops and a HE. You've got two gorillas. Oh, so it's his yeah. control so now. It's actually allied control. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll take out Soviet control as well. Okay. Uh, and Clint, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Where's where'd you take that from? I I oh, just put him. yeah I put them all up in your in your box. Yep. That's fine. You're okay, such so. a kind killer, Cax. I know. I always make sure to apologize, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, that leaves it to um, uh, the werewolf. Yep. Flash. Okay. So I'm thinking resource acquisition has to be top of mind here. Uh, well, we didn't just adjust some things here. So Edelweiss what they just did was an action and a special action. So his marker should be there. What you oh, have the option of is the event or, a, again, a limited action, like you did that limited terror last time. Right. Okay. Or pass. You can pass as well. Or pass, yeah. If you want to have the next the next event's kind of good for you. And it is your uh, your lead out next to card, so you could do that as yeah. well. Right. Um, 
place any three allied police with underground werewolf gorillas. That's the event I'd be gunning for. Replace yeah, so three you... of my light green or like olive green police with your gorillas. Right. Yeah, that's that's not too shabby. Uh, and there's no way to make money this turn and also do that next turn. No, no. Not no, by passing, pass. actually. Pass would give you a dollar. Or a passing does give me a dollar? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so just move your little marker down yep, to there, and I'll give you a dollar. Yeah, oh, no. We have we have unleashed the red bear, though, now here. This could be a problem. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, all I can do is a limited action. Limited here, action. Oh, no. he's, <laughs> he's been neutered. <laughs> yes, there's not much I can do. Let me see what I can do here. Yeah. Start hurting people vice a bit more. <laughs> oh, actually... You know what I'm going to do? I'm not going to do a limited action. I'm going to negotiate. So I'll go down here to negotiate because I want to free up Berlin for movement right. and make nice with the Americans. So oh. we put tensions down to suspicion rather than standoff. So he, look who comes crawling back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, does the Americans open you with uh, welcome you with open arms, though, NATO? That's, that's, that's right. Are they? Are they? Are you? Right. <laughs> is it open arms? <laughs> yeah. All right. And I'd keep me eligible. Um, and we'll, so werewolf, sorry, I'll move that back. Werewolf and Soviets eligible, allies eligible, Edelweiss are not. Yes, correct. And Nate, do you want to put up the next card? Yep, there it is. Yeah. Albert Speer. Oh, that's Speer, one. nice. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. That's a, that's a great historical one. I love that one. That's good. Yeah. We've got a card for the Nuremberg trials as well. Oh, is, sweet. Which mm. hasn't come up yet. Yeah. All right, so Odessa, we've got werewolves up first. So Flash, you can do the event or you can do an action and a special action. Okay, I'm going to tip my hand here slightly by um, asking this question. But uh, <laughs> if I'm to launch terror for $3 in three different locations... He's going puts... to launch terror for $3 in three different locations, guys. <laughs> yes. If, uh, if that, if that puts me over, <laughs> over 35... Uh, does does that put me in a position to win the game here? Sorry yes, if you're if you're at thirty five and we draw a crisis card, you win. Oh, okay. oh boy! Yeah. So, but the downside to that is I'm very vulnerable, and everybody says, "Oh my gosh, we got to kill this guy," and then I get That's right. whacked. So yes, but we're probably only playing to one crisis card anyway. So if you can get the win in, yeah, and, and normally um, in the game you can't win on the first crisis round. Because oh, okay. yep. otherwise, the game. Uh, if you're playing a proper game, it will be over too soon. But for our purposes, because we're only going to go to one, I'm going to say, yeah, you can win if you're. At oh the boy, oh, puts him into winning yeah. position. Clint just, Clint yeah, so I'm decision. I'm going all yeah. in. I'm either going to get slaughtered or I'm, or I'm going to go for it here. So let's launch some terror. It's going to cost yeah. me all three dollars. I'm going to do it in Munchen. <laughs> three dollars. Yep. Uh, oh. I'm going to change it to active. Yeah, active resistance and your gorilla becomes active. That's right. And then we'll do the same in Stuttgart. Oops. That's not quite right. There yeah. you go. I'll activate your guy for you. There we oh, go. thank you. And then I'm guessing uh, Frankfurt's my nest, but yeah, that'll put me over. It's worth two, right? Yep. Yeah, so go. Active. Okay. And so that'll okay, put so me up limit. by yeah. six, seven, uh, ten, eleven. 12. Would that be up by 14? Uh, no, no. So they were already giving, they were already at passive. So they were oh, already giving you two, two, and three. And now they're giving you another two, two, and three. Oh, okay. So that doesn't quite yeah. get me into territory for the Not quite, but you're, yet, in, you're but... at 30. Yeah, okay. You're at 30, oh, which is right. still really good. There we go. Um, and you also get a special action. Oh. Right. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Uh, and this is where I can capture and get some money back. That's right. As it's, long as you have underground guys, yet only underground gorillas can capture. That's right. So I'm going to do one capture in Wurttemberg, Baden. Yep. So just activate a guy, and I'll, okay. I'll do the money once you've I'll done I'll do capture. one in Hessen. Yep. Um, where else do we have? Um, can I do more than one in one location, or it has to be? Uh, maximum three locations. So you could go Castle or Niedersachsen. Oh, sure. We're just oh, Castle, right? Yeah, I'll yeah. do. I'll do Castle. Yeah, and that puts you back up to three dollars. Not bad. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, that's a werewolf action done. Uh, next is Soviets, and I can yep. do the event, or I can do an action and a special action. 
just going to have a look. I don't think the event's going to benefit me very much. Can hurt the werewolves, though. Mm-hmm. And they need yeah. hurting. Yeah, they do. But <laughs> I think I'm going to let Nate handle the werewolves. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you. you At least one person's being kind. Someone's got to do the dirty work. So, it's so Clay, yeah. it's, it's ironic that you do that because I noticed in your first two turns, you, you pummeled Nate, you pummeled me. Yep. And then you're taking a flyer on Flash, are you? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it's, uh, my troops have been holed up in Berlin for so long because of these tensions. I haven't been able to get them down into werewolf country yet. <laughs> okay, fair <laughs> enough. Fair oh, enough. oh <laughs> Cax, so it's, for you, Rand. So it's, yeah, it's really the uh, the able <laughs> that's, that's the issue. Yeah, 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 yeah. Getting for you, Flash. Huh? So I'm going to actually do. I'll show. You, I'm going to do a limited action. And I'm going to do a limited patrol. So I'm going to spend two resources. And this a patrol would normally mean I could move any of my troops and police in cities all along the road network to any other cities. Um, but it, in a limited patrol, I can only move all those pieces to one location. I can't move them anywhere. So I'm going to get some guys to move to Castle with this patrol. I'm going to get my guys from... Leipzig and go one troop, one police. Also going to get some guys from Weimar, one troop, one police. So it's the destination. You can pick one destination. Yeah, one destination. Yeah. Um, and I'm also going to get my troop with a HE from Brandenburg to come to the same place. So that changes Castle to being Soviet controlled. Hmm. And that'll do. That gives me at least control of the middle of the map. So that's it. Yep, Soviets have done a limited action. And now allies, you have the option of pass or negotiate. Um, I'll pass. I need the money. Yep. Okay, so now we move it over. All right. It's going to be me and Flash. Sorry, me and uh, NATO, actually. Oh, mm -hmm. and I have two events to consider here. Jeez. <laughs> Albert yeah, Spear. Or well, you know what? This is a, this is a seg. seg. That's the Hungarians. That's the uh, the Hungarian. They, they have a couple of options there. You've got the Kampfgruppe Kolotai, which is some Hungarians that were still fighting for the Nazis right at the end of the war, yeah. and they kind of join Edelweiss. Or you've got the Hungarian Revolt, which is kind of like a distraction for the Soviets. Yeah, you can I remove go some through. Soviet troops, but it pushes our tensions uh, way up. Yeah. I will. Uh, I'll actually pass good. this event. I will let NATO have uh, full full run of the mill here. You're welcome to give me or the werewolf six resources or four if you want. <laughs> that's no problem. <laughs> um, oh, that's a dollar idle advice as well. Put that up. Yeah. Oh, I did, did. I get resources last time from passing. No, you. I'll I'll give them to you now. You got six. Yeah. Okay, NATO, you're up. Needed it. Um. Hmm. Oh, and Clint, we're not playing the, um, the 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 tailored faction cards, right? So the special faction, like I can't. No, play yeah, the, the key event cards. Yeah, don't yeah, worry I, I about. Can't. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The pivotal event cards. Are... Pivotal events. Yeah, yeah. 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 Right. That's where we each have our own cards, where we can displace the current event. Yeah, that's right. So they are they're on the map. They're near your available forces box, but we're just not using them. You can have a look at them though. If you're going to play the full version of the yeah, game, I was I was actually checking out. I think the Desert Fox is a cool one there, Clint. That's a neat. Oh yeah, yeah. It's, this is funny. When we made that card, me and my the design partner work with Ben. Um, we said we need a cool card for Edelweiss. Can you think of a really good German general that was not super into the Nazis? Um, mm -hmm. That was you know quite traditional. And we said right, Rommel, like it would make sense for him to be an Edelweiss white rather than a werewolf guy. Yeah. And we, we needed a name for the card. And I, I messaged him. I said, is there like an iconic name for Rommel that we could use? I'm scratching my head. I can't think of one. And he replies back and says, Desert Fox. Like, yeah, we've got to have that. Bingo. So, yes. That's awesome. Yeah. And what he gives you is um, a whole bunch of gorillas, a base, and heavy equipment tokens because it's um, the, the remnants of his 21st Panzer Division who had fought with him in France and the desert and Normandy. They rally to him and they salvage together whatever, you know, captured tanks they can. And nice. form like a guerrilla armored division that can pop up anywhere. So that's a really cool card. Excellent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, all right. So, um, so yeah, it's Nate's I turn. Pass. You can do NATO. You have full run of the mill here, man. Yeah, kind of. No money to do anything, but well, um, that's fine. Take a pass. Yeah. 
You or take get, the event. You won't get to play next turn, but yeah. <laughs> you need cash, man. Yeah, I'm just wondering whether it might be a good chance to strike, though, because the we got the base down in Bayern, which we can get rid of. Yeah. Um, you remember your every time you kill an insurgent base, your morale goes up by one. Yeah, which that's, would be that's handy. That's a thing. Which so what you could do is like um, an assault with an airstrike, maybe, because um, you notice that a lot of those werewolf gorillas now are active and they're in places that are at active resistance. So it doesn't matter if you bomb them. It won't so I can the bomb them in cities? Yes. Okay. You can bomb anywhere. You can bomb them on roads, too, and you don't Jeez. have to have Ooh. just anywhere the on the map. You over, total... isn't it? <laughs> no, yeah, well, that's the thing. It's it's like Vietnam. You can just you can call in the flyboys if you need to Yeah. anywhere wow. on the map. And remember, all your troops in West Berlin are now able to roam free. But That's who right, knows yeah. how long that'll last for? You, they might yeah. get Except locked down again. Except they're all blockaded. I can't. Uh... That's right. They're blockaded. Unless they go the northern route through Hamburg, then Bremen and Cologne and down yeah. there. But I don't know, man. If I were you, if you want to start killing werewolves. Yeah, I think I have to take out this base assault. here. It's just yeah, assault by the airstrike. All all uh, Flash has to do is recruit and w- put two gorillas down, and then we're back to square yep. one. So I'll assault there, and then um, I would recommend doing the um actually do uh, do an airstrike to get rid of that because you only have one troop cube there. The police can't assault in the provinces. Oh, so oh, I got, thought they And you need oh, okay. the mountains, yeah. then you need two troops okay. to kill one piece. So if you let's say you you got an action and a special action, maybe do an airstrike with an assault. And then the yeah, assault. Could okay, be well, if that's the case, I'll assault uh, in uh, Rhineland. Oh, yeah, even better. Yeah. Yeah. My coin instincts are kicking in now. So, yeah. <laughs> um, so I'll, I'll attack there and then one. And then your airstrike can be in up to four places, like four pieces total. Yeah. Um, so you could wipe them out from Frankfurt, Stuttgart, and um, Munich. Yeah. yeah. Yes, no uh, bombing Soviets, though, eh? <laughs> no, but um, here's the thing. You can bomb guerrillas that are on Soviet soil, with, say, with the Soviet loyalty, and it will shift to the, towards opposition or resistance, rather. So you can oh. bomb Soviet populations. It will shift. It will hurt me because it lowers, um, lowers my victory point level because you're removing Soviet loyalty, but it puts tensions up. If you bomb a Soviet population, tensions go up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Well, you're... you're- Foot soldiers are trapped anyway, so you might as well yeah, do I know. it. And well, we can't let the designer win. I mean, there's three <laughs> of us and one of him. We have to take him down, Nato. Yeah. <laughs> We've got to come together here. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. Well, we want to kind of balance this out here a bit. So I've hit the one air base, and we'll hit uh, Munchen. And then we'll, uh, we'll just take these two guys out here. Oh, the yellow fellows. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Okay. So let me just do some adjustments. Oh. So those two places are now neutral. Cax is leaning down. into his screen now. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, what? That, what just happened? Tensions go up is going by on. two. <laughs> okay, so this is really interesting now. Tensions have gone up by two to escalation. That's one step short of war, which means all the allies of the Soviet we have all of our action costs doubled. Plus, Ooh. we're frozen in Berlin and all the previous restrictions, and we're one step away from open war. Um, so, is there any way for Cax and I to push that into the war, or is that yes, just between only, you two? Only Cax. He has uh, his one of his special actions is false flag, Ooh. which kills us, an allied on Soviet peace and pushes tensions up. Oh. So, if you see if there's a crisis card coming up soon, that is a way for Cax to win, or actually for a way to flash to win as well. If he has oh wow, this is great actually here. Yeah. So yeah. I can, I can, I can. That, that uh, consequence may have been mildly unintentional, but anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I like that you made that possible, though. I'm, I'm keeping everyone yeah. in the game. <laughs> now, how does that benefit the werewolf? Uh, well, it, that move it, that he just did doesn't really benefit the werewolves. Like he's just done, he's done an airstrike on Soviet soil, so he's hurt Edelweiss, uh, which I need to adjust as well. Yeah, but. The yeah, if Edelweiss do their false flag attack, it will push tensions up to six, which means if a crisis card comes up, allies and Soviets are out of the game. So if if they if you know that's happening, then you know as the werewolf player that Edelweiss is your only enemy. And likewise, if you're Edelweiss, you know that werewolf is your only enemy. Right, oh, so, right, right, right. Yeah. So there but are I, player uh, eliminations. I, yeah. 
you can you can have player eliminations in this game then well it's not it's not a player elimination you're still doing actions and so on um but it depends on how risky the allies and soviets want to be if they know that cold war tensions is at six they can still do actions and so on they can they can do their turns it just cost them double but when that crisis card comes up they're going to lose gotcha so yeah but we it, could negotiate it that back down right we can negotiate, yes. Yeah. Okay, so I, I just took the... I'm counting on you to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, after you just bombed my people. After yeah, you bombed no, my I was cleaning out the idle bikes. It wasn't on you. Yeah, well, that's true. <laughs> I, uh, power play here, Cax. This is, this is your moment. There's some research that's wide open now, so... Yes, I, that's, uh, that's a, big, that's a so, big point, too. Two research tokens up for grabs. I think you should explain to your people. It was well, well-intentioned bombing. <laughs> <laughs> yep, from the Americans. <laughs> Co- collateral damage. <laughs> yeah. I took the event here. Okay, so you're doing the top or the bottom row? Uh, the top, so I stay active. Also, or stay oh, okay. el- el- eligible, yeah. Yep. yep. Cool, so Under- you get... Underwhelmed. Have you placed your gorillas? <laughs> yes, you have. Yep. Yeah, I did, yeah, I did. Put them there, yeah. Right. Okay, so that, after that, that are is up. the werewolves. Oh, Okay. Well, I've got a little bit of cash on hand, so I better do some. Can I change Nuremberg's resistance uh, if I do terror once again? You can't do terror because your one guy there is already active. You need yeah, to have an need underground, underground gorillas to do right. The terror. Okay, has, there has to be an element of surprise. Gotcha. Okay, so I can do Hessen. Uh, can I use the guy on the research token in Wurttemberg to do do one there? Yeah, he can do terror. Yep. I'm just mathing so, it out to see if I'm. I might be one short because I can do Hessen. I can do Wurttemberg. You can do Niedersachsen as well. Where is Niedersachsen? Oh, up in the north, in the middle. You got a he a guy sitting on a he. Oh, right. there it is. Okay, gotcha. Okay, yeah. yeah so let let's do that then. So we'll go triple terror. Yep. Oh, so, put him on the. Uh... Second box. Yeah, the one next to next to the Edelweiss one. Yeah, right. So, okay. So we'll go. Uh, what is this? Uh, Hessen. And I have to tip one of these guys. Yep. And then we'll do Niederschossen. Yep. I will Activated. say Flash is staying on target better than yeah he is <laughs> i think he's actually the biggest threat right now yeah and that oh do i have to bring in a token for niederschossen then uh, yeah i'll do all the tokens for you you just just okay. activate your gorillas and i'll do everything else thank you and then we've got wartenberg Okay, so that should take me by one, two, three. Yeah, and four. I've been forgetting to do this, but I, I should have been putting terror markers in all these places. Six. So that should oh, bring me up are, by uh, six more. I'll correct. Do that in the two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We are getting dangerously close to the uh, the prop card here. Yeah, that's yep. gonna be it's gonna be coming up very soon. So does that put me up to thirty six then? For yes, it does. So yep. I'm I'm over my victory condition now. I just hope like heck that the game will end soon that's right <laughs> before i get crushed by everyone <laughs> yeah although we're i'm we're not in i don't have a lot of money for example oh Clint, i don't think you adjusted my resources as well for my attack no yet. i'm doing we're doing all that stuff now yeah it should be at three uh, okay yeah uh, so i put your morale uh, up you're killing that werewolf base too yeah perfect i stay eligible flash is out and nato you're over and here do do I get a special? I, I, um, I could have done stuff to all negotiate. I had a, I was in there as did, eligible. Did oh, yes, a, yes. Sorry, sorry, Clint. Yeah. Yes. So yeah, do, right. After the terror, do I get a special action there as well? Yes, you do. Yes, we need to do that. Um, Flash, so you can choose, yeah, Wunderwaffen Strike, Assassinate, or Capture. Okay. Uh, all of your guys are active, I think. Right, so you I can't one. capture anything? Yeah, you got one underground guy in Hessen. That was the only place to do it. Um. That would get me a dollar. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's probably worth it to get the dollar. I'm just trying to think if you can do anything else. Um, no, I think that's it. That's probably Unless you want to, yeah, you can do a Wunderwaffen strike, but it's actually going to hurt you to do that. There's no right, way. yeah. Okay, let's, <laughs> let's avoid that. Yeah. So I'll activate yeah. that last guy in Hessen, and then we'll um, I'll let you move that up. Yep, so you you went down to zero, now you're on one. Perfect. Okay. 
that's it. So then, HP Pinamund is the next event. I am oh. eligible. Oh, not yet. Not yet. That's not what I wanted. Were you, um, any by any chance accidentally shuffling the deck, Nathan? Pressing the uh, shuffle button? I don't know. I may have. Okay, don't worry. It's it, there should be a crisis card coming up soon. But, yeah. Yeah. Well, we're at, we're, we're, we're at uh, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I think this is card 11. This is card, yeah, 11 and 12. So yeah. Okay. Be one of the next yeah. two. Yep. Okay. So okay. I. And if it isn't, because I, I can't remember if I shuffled this, like I did shuffle before, but, uh, but I don't know if there was a previous game that I. The oh, yeah. Well, you don't need to shuffle the deck because it's already like preset for you. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. okay, I'm going to take uh, op and special here. Oh, you're not doing the event. Um, <laughs> it, just, it just hurts Nate even more. <laughs> oh, I know. You know, oh, you know what? Oh, just, just for posterity, allied morale that. negative four. Well, Allied's see, I'm a little yeah. worried. About, I actually, I'm actually a little strategically a little worried about Flash here. I need you guys in the game, and this would in, make you ineligible this turn. So, yeah. so that means you may only get one, yeah. play, and Flash gets to kick off the next card. So, I need you guys to, uh, to yeah. do what you can. Okay. So, mm. I'll, I'll take off and special. Very magnanimous of you, Cax. <laughs> I know in this particular situation. I, uh, so, so, what's good with your action going to be? Yeah, I'm wondering if it's best to. Uh, no, I can't. I I, I have to have uh, underground. Underground. Uh... Actually, is there is there any way I can target Flash? Target um, if Flash you, is... Yeah, at the moment, no. If you had underground gorillas where there's resistance, you could do Terra and shift them straight down to neutral. Okay. But you don't have any um, in his places. Where so he I could resistance. recruit, though. I could recruit. And do and you can yeah you can recruit as long as it's not active resistance so that whole belt of territory where he's got like munich stuttgart Württemberg, frankfurt hessen all that's yeah. active you can't recruit there maybe you gotta go march to you gotta march in i think at this point yes you'd have to march in there all right so i not even be... worth it just a waste of your time well, yeah <laughs> i'm slightly you worried have the time if there's a crisis card coming up soon, you might not have time to do this to do the terror because you have to do the terror on a later turn. You can't do oh, that. Yeah. Terror. And terror. Oh, you can't. Okay. So that yeah, they're both that. actions. That's right. Okay. Uh, but you two have the abilities to do a little more damage on him if I were to. Yeah. Yes. I, I can hurt him. He's such a nice guy. So who who would want to though? So what? So so let's let's just say I took the event, but I took the event that didn't make you ineligible. Yeah, you could. Uh, that helps me. It gives me two research tokens and two police up in Mecklenburg, and it keeps me eligible. Yeah. So I'm, I'm happy with hurts, you doing that if you hurts, want. Well, it doesn't necessarily hurt you. It gives you two extra research to steal, I guess. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's market. true. <laughs> in Mecklenburg, right? Yeah. You yep. So it's not the worst play. Well, what I'm trying to do is set you guys up for success against Flash. Uh, so that would be. <laughs> I don't know if I can do much against Flash. So it's no, fun. no, no. It's it's. So this is helping to Clint the most. So Clint, I I need I need from you something here. I need to know uh, like what, what what you're gonna do if I if I decide to opt this way. What what can you yeah. uh, what, what can you what can you offer here? <laughs> um, he wants six <laughs> resources, Clint. He wants six resources. Well, what what I can do to help crush the werewolves is I can. Do a search action or maybe a patrol, actually a patrol action. Oh, that, that, that thing you did to me earlier where you like wipe my entire forces out. Yeah, well, I, it doesn't actually hurt the werewolves that much to kill their gorillas. What I need to do is kill their resistance, which is the, okay. the population of loyalty. And what I would do yeah. is I would patrol into the city and then as a special action, I would use deport, which is where I permanently lower the population of the space. Oh, um, that would wipes be it, Wipes it straight to neutral. Oh, goes straight down to neutral. Oh, okay, hmm. now you're talking yes. about so, and, yeah. and just one city or multiple? In one, I can do it in one space at a, at a time as a special action. 
All right, so that would knock. So I'm guessing you probably would do one of the two bangers, eh? Like Stuttgart, Frankfurt. Yeah, now I would love to do it in Munich, but I can't because um, when I patrol, I have to stop if I hit guerrillas or blockades or allied troops because we are at Cold War tensions are at standoff. And yeah. even if it was yeah. more than that, and if it was suspicion with the same thing. So I can't move through Nuremberg and I can't move through all these blockades and guerrillas, but I could patrol with my guys in Castle. They could patrol into Frankfurt and then deport Frankfurt. Right, and, and that, that and, the werewolves down by four. Knocking how, them down, how, knocking them down four. That would actually put them below his win conditions, right? That's right. Yes. Now, who who stands to win if I get completely eviscerated here? Who would mm. be in the next winning position? Is that NATO? Know. As of right now, the Allies yeah. slightly. Oof. I, I don't like that either. But where no, we have win? But there's also and a crisis round coming up. If you had up, to choose, so... who would you want to win? The werewolf or the allies? Come on. It would be nice to see Nate go down at a coin oh. game. <laughs> so cocky. Yeah, there would be. He really is cocky. And you I can feel say like, you like, like I'm throwing everything against it here to like make it happen. <laughs> That's, and, uh, the Flash does have one turn to, like uh, you know, un- does he even, oh, he's got no money, though. I, I can't really do yeah. anything. I'm, I'm hosed. I'm dead in the water, basically. Yeah, he, he threw it all. Went okay. all oh, but, oh, but but Randall, you could actually hurt NATO with the next event, could you not? The Allied, uh, Allied the Red Jackets. Mayor. Yeah, it hurts. It hurts Allied morale. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. Well, let's 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 just uh, let's roll the dice, uh, Clint. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna trust that you're gonna do the right thing here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I will. <laughs> I'm, I will. I'm, I will uh, definitely keep the werewolves under control. And what you so you're doing the event? I'm gonna take Thank the you. event. I'm gonna take the upper half. Yes, so I'll do that. I'll resolve that up in Mecklenburg, so we get. And two I know you're, you're you're probably rubbing your hands with glee. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Uh, wait, get get your guys off there. I get my police on there. Oh, oh, do you? Yeah. Oh, shoot. Oh, okay. Sorry, yeah. So sorry. Good, yeah, you take take your guys off, and I got to put my police on. Oh, oh, they're both attached. Just a second here. Ah. Okay, how do you un- unstick it? There we go. Double click. Double yeah, click. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Okay, so the Soviets get two police and uh, with two research tokens in Mecklenburg. Soviets stay eligible. You've just done an event. So I am next up. I'm going to do an operation, sorry, action, special action. I'm going to pay $2 to do a patrol. We're going nope. to roll down the roads. Nope. <laughs> We're going to come down into Frankfurt. Stay We're away. Bring, bring along <laughs> the NKVD. And uh, I'm going to have to leave a couple of guys to keep control of Castle. I'll bring along my troop with HE just in case we need to do any bombardment down here later. That changes control. That now becomes Soviet. Not nice. Now, I don't actually have um, I don't actually have a marker for permanent population lowering. I'm just going to have to remember it. Um, I need a little marker that says one to cover that up. So we'll just what's happening now is I'm deporting Frankfurt. We need to treat that two as a one. <laughs> Okay. Did this, did this have the marker. in any large scale way in the in the history? Yeah, yeah. Deporting. Yep. The Soviets did it in East Prussia, um, and they did it in a few other places in East Germany, where they just sent people to Siberia. Oh wow! Um, very in, in fairly large numbers. In this game, it's it's on an even bigger scale. You can imagine if there was a real werewolf insurgency, the Soviets would be even more heavy handed than they were. Yeah. So we allowed them to deport, and and a population level of one is like half a million German civilians. Yeah. which I can imagine the Soviets doing in this case. Wow. So that's, that's what it represents. Crazy. So what it does is it, um, so I'm not going to gain as many points. It's down to zero population now. Well, Frankfurt's <laughs> down, oh, it's down to one. It's, so it's down, down to one. one. Yeah, down to one. Um, so okay, it's on, really on the card hands. it said to deport, it goes down by one or two. One or two, I can choose that. So oh, I'm okay. not going to, I could put it down by two, but because I control Frankfurt, I still want to get some points from it. Oh, gotcha. So I'm yeah. just going to deport by one, and it still just shifts um, the population loyalty down to neutral. Yeah. So that is putting the werewolves down by four, which is bringing them nice. under their victory threshold, putting them on the same level as the allies, actually. Oh, oh right. boy. Now we yeah, got to get NATO. Yeah, but NATO's, he needs he needs 50 to win, and he's on 32. So he needs another yeah, 18. Yeah, got a ways to go. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and then it's also as part of my patrol action, um, I can also get rid of some blockades. Our tensions, what are they, stand off, so I can't move out of Berlin. <laughs> what I will do, though, this is really... You're trapped in Berlin. I am trapped in Berlin. I'm going to send a troop from Dresden. He's going to patrol along the roads. 
to that road between Nuremberg and Weimar, and I'm going to get rid of this blockade. So as part of a patrol action, I can do an assault on one road or I can remove a blockade on one road. Oh, so we nice. go and clear out the minefields and so on. And that so opens it goes. <laughs> so it goes, go. Cax. Oh, yes, there it is. <laughs> yeah, I always think of Slaughter has five. Have you read Slaughter has five, Clint? Yeah, no, I haven't, but I do know I do know the storyline oh, roughly. So good. Yeah, I mean, he he in the story is fictionally at Dresden when the, the bombing happened, but... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, we actually have a card in the in the game called Firestorm. Yeah. Uh, which is like the Allies just totally bombing a city to ruins, and the bottom half of the card, um, which is favors the insurgents, is, it says "Remember Dresden." So it's like the werewolves saying "Remember all the Allied terror bombing," yeah. and it gets, right. all, it gets the people of Dresden and Hamburg and one other city to yeah. shift closer towards resistance because they remember the Allied bombing during the war. Yeah. Oh, um, that's so that's the yeah. card I need right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. So I can pass, right? Yeah, or okay. negotiate. Uh, no, I need I need the money. So I'm going to pass. So NATO, NATO, you're gonna you're gonna run no time. Yeah. NATO, what game would you say of the coin series does this one remind you most of? Uh, it's a good question, actually. Um, I don't know. It's it does it's it's fairly unique, I think. Um, Clint, Clint, did you have a, did you have a model in mind when you when you were designing? Yeah, I, vaguely. I mean, I, I kind of had it as somewhere between Andy and Abyss and Fire in the Lake. Uh, the, I, know, I, I was thinking of both those, actually. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's really, yeah. But it's, 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 it really is its own thing, though. It's more Fire in yeah. the Lake than Andy and I think. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Definitely is. But it really is its own thing. Like, it's... um, it's Yeah. We kind of started... We did... We, it, like I said before, we had to sort of start from scratch. So yeah. we couldn't just copy, copy and paste a whole bunch of stuff. And the map was done entirely from scratch, too. I was wow. going to say, what what's the biggest difference? Would you say, NATO? Is it is it the geography, or is it the uh, the the cards that trigger, or the interactions between the factions? What what do you feel is the distinguishing um, factor here? Well, I mean, the factions are like in in um, Fire in the Lake. You've got two uh, mil like two armies, and then you've got two insurgents. Right, so you've got the the Americans in the NBA, and you've got the uh, Viet Cong and the Arvin. Well, I guess or the Arvin, I guess are more. I guess you got yeah. Fire the Lake is you, you kind of have yeah. three. Yeah, you, the NVA are troops and insurgents. And yeah, you have the both. Yeah, are just yeah. Troops, and the US are just troops, and then yeah. only the Viet Cong are insurgents. Yeah. So it's like yeah, hmm. three. Oh, and there's our crisis card. That there is, is. That's the all card. the crisis card. All right, so we get. This allies and werewolves get the final turn, and then we do a crisis card, and we'll oh, wow. okay. go through and resolve that. And then so whoever's closest to their victory point margin will be the winner. So okay, so say that again. We've got so we we do the werewolves go first on this card. Red jackets yep. is the current. Oh card. oh, uh, Russians, you remain eligible. I don't know if it matters, but you do remain. Oh, sorry, it does matter. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Oh, in that card. Yep. So I am eligible. Mm. Very good. <laughs> Ah, that's, oh, yeah. that changes that things a lot. Changes things a lot, yeah. So I can, I can remove faction um, active pieces and put down bases here. Uh, if you could in Hessen, yeah, you could. You could if you did a recruit action, you could remove two active guerrillas and replace them with one base, and that so, gives um, me one point towards my objective. It does. Yes. So I need to do that three times. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you're going to be able to do that. So you're, Flash, you also, you might resource. you may want to consider Flash limiting what Clint can do next as well. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, um, well, is he a threat though? Where Where's his victory control at for? Like, or like, mine's not great. Mine's I'm on 21. I need 40 to win, so I'm 19 away from victory. Yeah. Um, Nader, but uh, during the but we're going to play crisis round. Um, so I mean, we will. I'm 18 away, so he's right behind me. Okay. Yeah. So the question is, should I be trying to maximize my my margin of victory, or should I be knocking somebody back? I, I feel like consolidating is my best. Just kind of batten down the hatches, hold the fort. Look, you're still closest to winning out of anyone. Um, yeah. So if you want to just maximize your own victory level and then just just yeah sit back and let us fight it out. Yeah, that right. might be the way to know because you you don't know like when we resolve the crisis round, yep. we will all get a chance to adjust population loyalty, 
Okay. So everywhere that we have troops and police and control, we can spend our resources to adjust the loyalty of the population, which will help us. So I'm going to do it in, you know, I'll do it in gotcha. Frankfurt, I'll do it in Dresden and East Berlin. So the points are going to change a lot. Right. Me and okay. me will gain a lot of points and you don't really know who's going to gain more. So you might just want to focus on your own points. So probably changing active opposition or active people to bases is my best bet. I think that's the only way you can gain points Yeah, as of yeah. right now. Because I really can't put many troops down with one dollar. So, <laughs> yeah, but yeah, you've only got right. one spot where you can place ba- a base in Hessen, right? Yeah, I Hessen, can do yeah. two two bases in Hessen. Yeah, that's yeah, uh, just one. Yeah, you, you've oh, got one there. Now. I've only got one dollar. Okay. No, no, no. Because yeah. you've only you but, can you can't put more than one than two bases in a space. So. Oh, okay. So I'll just put one one for now. Yeah, remember that you one. cost you. You got to trade two gorillas for it. I did yeah, take just two off. of the active ones off. Okay. I'll let yeah. you adjust the track. And I yeah, guess there's not much else I can do, right? So that was. So you or you can do a special action. I could do a special it's... action too. So uh, out of spite, I can just yeah. uh, kill somebody. <laughs> yeah. You've got, well, here's what you, what you could do if you wanted to hurt me a, a little bit um, is you could use your one research token in Württemberg Baden to fire off a Wunderwaffen strike into Frankfurt. Which is gonna you're gonna roll a dice and kill that many pieces. Now you have to maximum you have to kill the maximum number of pieces. So if you roll a six, for example, you have to kill all everything in there because you've got a gorilla in there too. Right. But you know it's what? A I'm, to kill some of my pieces. I'm I'm thinking of the greater good here. Um, we all come from the same YouTube channel, Legendary Tactics. So I want to help out the channel. So I'm attacking you, Clint. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to help Nate out here. I know I'm and doing it. This is it. cool anyway. I want to see at least one Wunderwaffen strike because yes. I love the roll of the dice. Let's, it's, I want to see what it does. <laughs> I, I want to see too. So let let me uh, wreak havoc. So I'm not. People can't say I just sat around causing terror everywhere. Hey man, you're I'm probably going to win. Control. So no one's going to yeah. accuse you of that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. And so, get rid of that research. so what happens with the Wonder Wolf and uh, strike? So the research gets spent. Research is it's gone. Yep. So we okay. delete it. Um, and then he's got to roll it. So there's, there's a rolling a dice function at the top. Yeah. You just click on the single dice. die. Okay. Yep. 1d6. Here we go. Five. Five. That was the yeah. perfect roll, actually. That, was, yeah, that is that a perfect roll. Everything. So you kill everything there, including your own piece. Oh, I thought, okay. it, was, I thought it was the, he was right. the sixth one. Worth. Okay. Totally worth. Yeah, so get rid of all those. Uh, we get rid of that Soviet control marker. I go down by one because Frankfurt population. Jeez, You're it's welcome, not Nato remember and Dresden. It's remember Frankfurt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hide in the basements of the slaughterhouse yeah, in Frankfurt. Yeah. Frankfurt. So Frankfurt just got deported and then it got hit by a yeah. <laughs> strike. So it got hit by a V2 rocket or something like that, and it is oh. totally devastated. There's nothing yeah. left. Jeez. The people deported were actually the lucky ones. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> if nothing else, that was really fun to do that to, to you. <laughs> yes, I'm sure it was. <laughs> All right, well, is, I'm going to... Is there a marker just... that's supposed to show the deportation? Yeah, there is, um, but we don't have one. It's literally just a number one or a number zero on it. Oh, that's, is it? That's oh, okay. We, yeah, and it's okay. it's one thing we forgot to put in there, but we, we know Frankfurt is population one. Yeah. That's right. Um, and then I'm next. I can go before the Allies and maybe do the event here. <laughs> maybe you should so just I... bombard Frankfurt just for <laughs> just for spite. <laughs> <laughs> I could poor, actually poor move guys. back into it and try and take control, but I'm not going to do that. I think I'm going to go for the event to stop Flash from winning because I actually think he's going to win. Yeah, it's very possible. Yeah. Um, although that does help. Oh, my interactive. No, I, that's I do have to. Nate. I have to give you some honorable mention for the uh, sound strategic advice throughout. Yes. Oh, yeah, that's true. Well, <laughs> yeah. I, I helped, helped everyone a little bit. Oh, no, that's going to help Nate too much, that event. Okay, oh, come I need to on. Yeah, you can't let Nate <laughs> sneak past you. Come on, just switch it to it's just the one province to allied loyalty. Yeah, it's going to give you... you ra- wouldn't you rather get second place, though, Clint, here? Oh, and the best I'm way to do that first. is to take Nate away. First. Yeah, I know, <laughs> I know. A temporary alliance of the Soviets and the werewolves. This is <laughs> Very temporary, actually. Yeah. <laughs> right after I completely bombed out Frankfurt, I'm asking for a yep. quarter here. <laughs> yeah, look, no, I'll, I'll, I will actually help out Nate. I want to do the event because I, I do think Flash is going to win here. 
Nice. Without um, without some help. So I am doing uh, red jackets. This is funny. I actually got a, a book to do with this topic, this exact topic um, yesterday from one of my students. Well, that's so cool. the red jackets. The, yeah, the, the, I'm going to do the top row, the commuted sentences. So this is where the, the Americans let off a whole bunch of SS war criminals at Landsberg Prison in Bavaria. Yeah. And the German population loved them for it. They they were very happy about this because it was like leniency from the Americans. They weren't going to execute all these SS guys. Um, and the effect of that in the game is that Berlin, uh, sorry, not Berlin, Bavaria, Bavaria. becomes yeah. active allied loyalty. They're very, very wow. pro-allied. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a big switch. Um, it, it's but the, be... the population, well, I guess because they were sympathizers, then letting off yes. the SS. That's right. Interesting. They're very happy with this outcome. <laughs> and All not right. to be confused with Mao's Red Guard. Yeah, no, yeah. that's that's a totally different thing. <laughs> yeah. Um, so let me just, I'll do some adjustments up the top here on the track. So <laughs> putting the allies, they go up to 40. I'm regretting oh, this decision. Very wow. respectable. That is, that is a it, real threat puts, to a victory. It here. puts their morale up as well, but it puts the werewolves down by six. Ooh. Yes, that's the more important. So, yes. Ouch. That was punishing. That could be the game shifter right there. <laughs> yeah, I think so. It's all going to come down to what we do in the crisis round. Um, NATO, you just have the option of passing or I, negotiating. <clears throat> well, passing. I'd yeah. probably need the resource for the crisis round, right? Yeah, yeah, you do. I'll take the resources. Yeah, I'm I'll fine with things just being in standoff mode. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. So now we'll do the crisis round. This okay. is um, so we don't need to worry about eligibility anymore. We're all just ineligible. Um, and now we'll we'll do the whole crisis card, and then we'll see at the very end who's closest to winning. All so, right. in terms of uh, victory, no one's won. So we're going through the steps in the crisis card. No one's won. Um, but we now go to resources, and I'll do the allied resources first. So the allies with start by doing their morale drop. So they have had six casualties. Every two casualties drops their morale by one. So they're going to go down by three morale. Yeah. And that's also going to affect their income and their victory points. Yeah. So thanks, except, guys. Yep. <laughs> all those casualties, all those American body bags going home. They yeah. Drop the morale. <laughs> and we have one blockade that's hurting the allies this blockade leading to west berlin that's going to drop um that's going to be minus two to their income so the allied income is 20 plus their morale minus any blockade so their morale is sitting on 11 plus 20 31 minus two for the blockade they get another 29 resources they were on six they're up to 35 for oh there you go nato money uh, again there we go there's your money again coffers and are Soviet full. Is 20 minus any blockades. So I've just got two blockades to worry about. I got by $16. So we go 16 plus 12, 28. The werewolves will get one resource for every base. Um, plus they can get rid of any research for four, but they've already used up their research doing that Wunderwaffen strike. So they have got one, two, three, four bases. They get $4. <laughs> and Edelweiss are the same. Edelweiss... Oh. Yeah, got, quick question, Clint, because it shows three bases on the available forces there. Oh, uh, for the werewolves? Yeah, is there an extra base in there somewhere that... I think... Um, oh, yeah, there must have been. Yeah. yeah. There, there should only be six in total in the game. Let me just yeah, see so one. you know what? Oh, there's, and there's four on the board? One should be... Removed. Yeah. I think yeah, you have one, one too many uh, bases in the module. Yeah, I think Flash, you may have mm. brought on an extra base as a token like rather than taking it from available forces, but that's all right. Mm. Fix that up. Wow. No, actually, I think there's an extra base in the module, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah. I see. Oh, yeah, we noticed this when we were just mucking around. Yep. Well, we can just, um, yeah, we can change that. Yeah. Okay, so Edelweiss get one resource for their one base. <laughs> Edel one um, Edelweiss base. can also sell their research, though. Um, so Edelweiss have got one, two research tokens, which they can sell for okay. a total of eight. So they're going to go from 10 up to 18. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. yeah, they got heaps of cash. So those um, research tokens, can we get rid of them, Cax? Yep. The ones yep. that you own in Mecklenburg. Rolling and in the in, Deutschmarks. Yes, they are from selling weapons on the black market. That's where they're getting <laughs> their money. Uh, and then also we, uh, the allies and the Soviets send their research home um, to fuel the arms race. Okay. So I've got two resources in total, two, two research in total. 
as do uh, I. Well, I can better. Yeah, you have two. All right, so there's no effect there. The, with the arms race is even. No one gains points. Yeah, but we send with the research is removed, right? Yeah, yeah. S send it to available forces. Um, which I'm oh, to... okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, which for some reason I I can't unstick my research from my troops, but. Yeah, just double click. Triple click. Double click and then grab the troop. Oh, off. yeah, yeah, there we go. Yep. It's a vassal trick. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Okay, I know how to do that. Okay, so we've got our resources. Next is loyalty. So starting with um, Nate, he can go troops, through... Troops, police, and control. Troops, police, and control and yep. spend three resources to shift it up by one towards his own loyalty. Oh, and you've got three resources to get rid of terror as well. Yes, this is where I go bananas. <laughs> you have $35 yeah. to um, do it, NATO. <laughs> uh, yeah. Can you, I want to go Hamburg active. Uh, oops, I got to scroll through this. Uh, Bremen active. I like how the resources reflect the the economics for each faction too. Like the werewolf, I was struggling for resources all game, which yeah, is probably yeah. accurate, right? And NATO's That's just right. rolling in the cash. <laughs> yeah, he, he wasn't for, uh, a, a big chunk of the game though. He was pretty broke. Yeah, yeah. He spent he spent it spend all, and he a lot. Donation. Yeah. He made a big donation to Edelweiss as well. Which, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's true. Um, uh, he needed Clint, it. I need uh, I need uh, some loyalty on. Um, Hamburg as well. So oh, yeah, I can do that. Four. Um, so we go uh, loyalty control markers. So are you doing it all the way to active? I would assume you yes, are. Yes, of course. Yeah. So that's one, two, three, four shifts. Um, I can do that in Nuremberg. That's another three shifts there, I think, right? Seven then? Uh, it's max maximum two. Maximum two oh, shifts. Yeah, okay. So oh, six. Six. So another two then. Six. Yep. Yeah. And I think that's it. Anywhere else? Yeah, you can do it in Rhineland Perfelts. Uh, you can because you have control there. Which we oh, do. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So we'll do that. If you can add, I don't know where you're grabbing the tokens from. So oh yeah, I'm just bringing on new ones, but oh yeah, I'll do that for you. Yeah. That's another two. So that should be one, two, three, eight. four, five, six, seven, eight shifts. That's 24. Yep. So that's where your money goes. Yes. Uh, is, Clint, is there any point to having money at the end or is it? Uh, well, no. In this case, like because we're, we're finishing first... now. Yeah. yeah it, normally, we would a standard game would be four crisis cards. Okay. So obviously, you want to save your money for the next round, but because this is the, right. yeah, this is a bit of a weird one because we're doing a short game, this is the final turn. Right, so right, right. So right, no right. use saving money right now. Okay. Yeah. Now let me just put your victory points up. So you went up by two in Nuremberg, two. That's not a four, so plus six. Uh, eight, ten, plus six in Hamburg, plus 16. Nice. All right, so 37 plus 16. You're on 53. 53. Ooh. Yes. Yeah. Nice. You met your condition. <laughs> yeah. Well, I managed wow. to convince the Soviets to give me an event that... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which I really should not have done. <laughs> but I can, I can do the same thing now too. So uh, I can yes. um, do some... But not, to the, not as good as you. <laughs> I can only shift it by one. Yeah. And I, I don't have very many places where I can actually do that. I'm just going to do it in East Berlin and Dresden. So I've got to switch these up. What's the faction order? So it goes, um, it goes allies and then the insurgents. Uh, yeah, for the, for this anyway. Yeah, for for the crisis card things, which is like yeah, getting your resources and then yeah, yeah, doing, yeah, 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 shifting loyalty. Okay. Yeah. I think this actually it's a lot quicker to play this in real life rather than Vassal. I think, but yeah, yeah. just click so many things. However, right, we are I'm playing interested. internationally, so I think we can. <laughs> We can, yeah, uh, that is a bonus. That is if you bonus. guys were ever in Australia, you should come down to my place and play a game on yeah. the actual prototype map. But <laughs> <laughs> that'd be cool. There we go. All right, so yeah, that's all I can do now. The werewolves, anywhere they control, they can spend resources to shift it towards 
Did you boost your not... loyalty yeah. as well? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Boosted Five Soviet four. loyalty. Yep. Yeah. Looks so the werewolves can't the werewolves can't really build their resistance up anywhere. That's right. Yep. Yeah. Um Edelweiss has the option of doing it in a couple of places because they control Mecklenburg, which is Soviet loyalty. They can spend resources to shift it towards neutral. And they could do the same thing in Saarbrücken. So, Cax, if you want to do uh, that, is, is there a point? Too. Is there a value to that? Is that gonna? It, it hurts me and Nate. Oh, do it! Well, do it! Do it! Let's yeah. get it done. Yeah, <laughs> both those places. Yeah. So two, you spend two resources. Yeah. The loyalty in Mecklenburg goes to neutral, and same as Saarbrücken. Uh, so that's good. Good. Well, I had. Thanks, I was so. hoping to knock you down at least to forty-nine. <laughs> Yeah, it puts him down by two. Ah, <laughs> so close. Good try, Cax. Yeah, not quite enough. Uh, and then after that, because it's the final turn of the game, we don't need to do the remaining two steps. Normally, if this was a full game of Werewolf, we would be doing redeploy and reset. Right. Uh, yeah. Which means we, yeah, the troops basically troops that are in provinces or roads have to go home to their bases or cities. Yeah. Um, and well, we can we can demonstrate that at least, you know. Yeah, we'll do it. Yeah, all right, we'll do it. So, so allies for first, the viewers. Can, so I need to move, move my troops, troops back to any city, or does it have to? Yeah, be any city troops? that you control. Yeah. Um, or a base. A base. Um. Yeah, I'd probably split the troops up a little bit, and yeah, it's a chance to like redistribute them around the map too to get a mixture of troops and police in every. Space. Oh, and it's any city, and you don't you don't have to do adjacent. No, and oh, the anyway. police can come out, right? Like I can get police and. Yeah, I mean the police can stay where they are if you want. The police don't have to come home to the bases or the cities. Wait, so can they go them. to controlled spaces or no? Yes. Yes, they can. Yeah, yeah. they can. Okay. So, yeah. so I'd normally... Cax was really effective at contain. I mean, first you two contained each other and then Cax sort of plugged things up, but there wasn't a lot of movement from those troops. Now I have no. to pull these guys back. Um, well, you've got a base in Niedersachsen, so you don't yeah. have to move over there. Yeah. Okay, I'll just move in there, I guess. You do have to get your guys out. Oh, you've got them out of um, Saxony Unholt, so that yeah. changes... So you need to adjust. Uh, the... Edelweiss goes up a little bit here, so the redeployment <laughs> will affect things because it gives yeah. Edelweiss a little bit of points. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I have to redeploy too, so yeah. I have to get my good. I think I'm done. Right. Yep. And I'll quickly do my redeployment. <laughs> and I'm guessing the insurgents just stay where they are. And yeah, but they and, flip. And they go they underground, flip back to right? underground. Yeah. 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 They all go underground. All right. And that's going to put me down by two. Yeah. Yeah, it does. It does matter, actually. Yeah, it, it will affect things. Uh, and then the other thing that happens at a reset is all the um, terror markers are removed and the blockades are removed. All the guerrillas go underground. Yep. And Cold War tensions go up by one. Oh, oh, oh automatically. Yeah. Wow. So, so yeah, back up to high flag tension. was in your future. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So if <laughs> if we had kept going, yeah, it's going to be hard for. For me and Nate, we, we would have to waste a lot of time negotiating. So we're in a we're in a pretty strong <laughs> position now at the end of the crisis round. But now, yeah, if we were to be playing, we got to negotiate to get rid of that. Otherwise, Edelweiss will just keep hitting us with false flag and stop us from doing anything. Yeah, right. right but right, um, right. yeah, that is it. Yeah, that is nice. A completed uh, campaign in Werewolf. That's it. We've played through a crisis card. Yeah, and I'm going to say uh, Nate is the winner. Bravo! Bravo, bravo! I couldn't have done it without you, Clint. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you, you crushed me, Clint. I almost had yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, I was. I was kind of kingmaker there. I was. I, I could have allowed Flash to win. Um, yes, you could have. Yeah. I played that. Kind of, yeah, I thought I could maybe eke out a few extra points, but I didn't. It was although, the noob although, versus the veteran there. Although, yeah. if you if you hadn't done that, I I don't know what what would the victory margin have been. I guess he would have. Flash, you were over you your... You were at 51. He right? would have been on 36. You would have oh, been on okay. like 51. So you both <laughs> yeah. were one above your victory margin, but he would have won because the insurgents take priority if it's a case of a draw with a margin. So it goes, oh, okay. if, there's a, if there's a draw, Edelweiss get priority, then Werewolf, then Soviets, then Allies. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. So if I hadn't have played that card, it would have been Flash winning. 
but because I chose yeah. to play the card, it ended up being Nate winning. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Right. That's but right. really to get That's yeah fun. to get a full to play the full game would be obviously we would have played differently if we'd known it was going to go. Like yes, that. of course. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, Flash, as someone newer to Coin and this style of game, let's say Coin inspired games, um, what were your thoughts? You know what? It, it, in a first game through, like it would be very helpful to watch this playthrough because it was very helpful when I, I had a sense of what I needed to do and I just didn't know how to do it. And I think that's just getting to know the game. You you learn, OK, here's the over. It, it's essentially it comes down to I had a sense of the strategy and I, I didn't know exactly how to implement that. So it was very helpful having a little support through it. Yeah. But uh, no, it's neat. I mean, I, I like that it, it didn't feel like anyone was really challenging me on, on the control. So it felt like I was flying a little under the radar. But as soon as, you know, the guns get turned your way, suddenly it becomes really, really pummeling. So you can't yeah. you can't get too far ahead. Right. There, there's sort of yeah. that target the leader. So, yeah, you got to manage that. Yeah, I, thematically, I, I like it. I really like um, where it's set. I like the context. And I like, for me, a game has to have a strong theme like that. And uh, just feeling like I'm the werewolf sneaking around, you know, causing problems. And I, I, I like that. And Cax sneaking around blocking roads. And yes. yeah, it's cool. I think I enjoyed playing as a werewolf. Yeah, Cax, what are your thoughts? Yeah, no, I thought if, if you like coin games, this is going to be... Uh a hundred percent right up your alley i i, I it, it really had it, it it very much coin what do we call it coin like coin yeah. light yeah. Coin, coin inspired coin inspired, coin inspired. <laughs> yeah, coin inspired. Yeah. and uh yeah clint no you've done an amazing job here at really uh you know recreating a feel for the with that with that with that vibe of like the under undertones of that right it, it's, it's, it's great yeah oh thank you yeah. Feels like it might be replayable too with uh, different events coming up at different times. Like we, it spurred different mm -hmm. conversations based on those. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's there's 96 or 98 actually 98 event cards in the game, and they're all pretty wacky. They all do very different things. So yeah, yeah it could have like, gone totally differently depending on the cards. Yeah. And NATO, you are the champion, so you get the final word here. <laughs> oh, okay. No, I I uh, I having played almost all the coin games out there. Um, no, I, I thought this one was was really. I really liked the Cold War Tensions track. I thought that was a really mm. nice uh, kind of touch. Um, and the events are, I feel they like they struck me as being swingy. But the, if they're all swingy, then it kind of balances out. Yeah, um, that's the know. plan anyway. Yeah, yeah. nice. Yeah. Like one of my biggest. Yeah criticisms of cuba libre is there's some events that are just so swingy and a lot of very innocuous ones so mm. if the card order comes out in a certain way it's really hard to win as say the government of uh, a player um and it's nothing to do with your gameplay but this one um i think the, the the card events are quite strong but that you know is kind of if they're all equal strength i think it, it balances out and yeah, I, I, I like the interactions. It, it feels like, uh, you know, you, I like the asymmetry and it seems like you got that, uh, you got that right. So that was really good. Great. Well, yeah. I'm happy you guys were able to get together and play my game. It's an honor. I can't yeah. wait to see the finished video as well. I think it's going to be really cool. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, hopefully we can encourage a few more people to do some pre-orders on it um that would be that would be great so yeah we'll put legion the uh yeah production. so it's legion games right we'll put the uh yeah legion war link, games yeah or legion war games yeah so we'll put the link in the uh, description so people can um can check it out so yeah <clears> thanks <throat> so much great. for your time clint yeah. we appreciate you taking us through it and helping us out oh so that's much. fine man. it's very enjoyable for me i'm just really upset that i didn't win <laughs> 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 well, you you helped all of us enough that, that that's true that's true i did help you guys out a bit so you crushed yeah, yourself I'll take it as a moral win <laughs> <laughs> and i'm okay with germany being under allied control i guess that's probably yeah. morally the best outcome for the german population so <laughs> <laughs> oh that's good yeah thank you so much guys well look uh, i'll have to get going now um but yeah, I'd love to do another video at some time in the future. I've got more games coming up in the pipeline that I'd love for you guys to have a go at as well. So Yeah. Yeah, take care.